to the All I Need Podcast. But uh, I'm just so glad it's skateboarding. It's been the one thing that came to me at the right time. It could have been anything I imagined, but skateboarding was what it was. That's why I love skateboarding to death. That's right when I found skateboarding. Like my friend showed me and I was like latched onto it because it was the only thing at that time that was really fun and like my escape and I fell in love with it, you know? We're rolling. Hey, Evan. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> Let's cheers. Let's cheers on this one, bub. Tuesday. Tuesday. And uh, tied the mic down. Oh, yeah. You should be good over there, my friend. That's pretty legit. Uh, sample board? Yes, sir. Rip that thing up. Do my best. It feels good, dude. Yeah, I like the look of the shape, too. It's got, like, decent concave, nose yeah. and tail. Yeah. What are you riding right now? Uh, right now, I'm riding uh, 825. You are, right? That's yeah. what I thought you said. You're uh-huh. riding 825. Yeah, but honestly, I can go anywhere between 825 and 85. Like, Must be nice, bro. <laughs> yeah. Must be nice. <laughs> what are you riding? Like, if you're skating 825, are you skating mostly um, less tranny? Nah, actually, I've been skating everything on it, for really? sure. Yeah. Does it feel weird? Um, I don't know. It was kind of fun bouncing sizes because it's like trying it all over again for the first time. Yeah. Yeah, true. Didn't think of that. It's so crazy that you can jump from A25 to A5, though. Yeah. Seems like a lot, dude. What about flip tit? Tri- flip tits. Uh, <laughs> flip tricks. <laughs> I think definitely if I haven't skated an A25 in a while and I go back to it. Yeah. I don't know if it's in my head, but I'd be like, oh, my flat ground's like on point today type yeah. of thing. I've definitely noticed that. Yeah. And it's just a little bit lighter. Nice. Yeah. Um, juice is killing it? Definitely. Nice. Um, I don't know. There's always a little bit of like slowing down after the summer to be expected. Oh, but so it like, sad. hasn't slowed down like as much as it normally does. That's good. Like, I don't know. We're still selling a lot of skate stuff, a lot of doing like... Um, wetsuits and stuff now since it's getting colder yeah like for surfing wetsuits boots gloves but then um do you do more surf stuff or skate stuff i think we do more um skate stuff as far as like hard goods but our like biggest thing is probably like surf lessons and camps right those are like the big buck makers but as far as like actual like hard goods it like might be like kind of even or like lean towards skating Nice. Which is like interesting. Narragansett Surf and Skate in Narragansett, Rhode Island on Narragansett Ave. Right? Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, every time I like send the box, I'm writing Narragansett so like, many times. Mad times. Yeah, yeah. I, like fill out the form, the order form, then I have to like print the shipping, and it's yeah. just like Narragansett, 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 Narragansett. <laughs> Narragansett. <laughs> yeah. And OMF's chilling then. Yeah, it's been good. It's like crazy. Just so many people there, and these like past couple of weeks when there's those like really nice days yeah there's like at least like 20 30 people there yeah it'll be like a lot of like you know high school age kids like the after school hours yeah and then it shifts to like the kids more like my age and older As like at dark. night yeah. yeah but like it stays the whole time there's like a bunch of people yeah that's sick that park yeah. is so fun yeah it's been getting good use so it's good to see and that's right hell yeah and last time we filmed a bunch in the bowl, that thing's ripping as well. Yeah, that was, that was fun. Awesome. Those foul lines came out cool. Yeah. That was fucking dangerous, though. Yeah, I was, like, one in the, the bottom yeah. and just, like, chasing around, and I barely, mm-hmm. like... Actually, remember when we were in, went to New York, too? Yeah, and that was wild crashed one. into me, or I crashed into you? Yeah. It's weird, because I don't film, like... I haven't been filming a lot of tranny down at the bottom with like yeah. that GoPro handle, so mm-hmm. it's hard to gauge where I am in relation to where you're coming down. Yeah, you know? exactly. But it seems to work. Yeah. We have so we have some questions from last week. Cool. And uh, I'm gonna get into it because why the fuck not? <laughs> I was just telling Evan that uh, Jamie Vernon from uh, Joe Rogan, oh, the yeah. his like assistant and his friend got COVID. And they're not going to have any episodes for a while. I was just looking at my uh, Instagram before this. thought that was kind of crazy. 
just because they moved to Texas, like I was saying, <laughs> they moved to Texas to get away from all the craziness yeah. and the COVID. And ironic, they've been testing like crazy, and like mm-hmm. dude gets it, you know. That's funny that like he got it and not Joe, because I feel like Joe is exposed to. I don't know. Does he do like podcasts with the mask on or just at a distance? Nah, they just test like people come in. Oh, and they true. Test them, yeah. Okay, word. So it's like that's pretty safe. Yeah. All right, let's get into it. Lawrence Clayton. He writes one way tricks and why they exist, i.e., um, Susky grinds, salad grinds, Muska flips, barley grinds, Bennett grinds, and the infamous overcrook, which we mm. all know is just backside. Yeah. How do you feel about that? So one way trick is is that what is he saying? Yeah, I think because like a Susky grind is only regular. backside. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, no, totally. So like so a regular. front side would be a salad grind, right? Yeah, exactly. So you agree with that? Yeah, so like Susky's kind of like a back five zero tweak towards the back tail. Yeah, and then I don't even know if you would say like a back salad grind. I feel like salad grinds mostly just like. A front five zero that's like lifted up, tweaked towards the feeble. That's how I feel too. Yeah, it's weird that we just accept that though. Yeah, cause I don't know, it's like easy to pinch a back five zero towards like a feeble, you know. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I don't really think anyone calls that like a back salad. Not it, really. Yeah, like you can, but it's not as popular as like the front salad is like, you know, the one. And then he said like muska flips that one threw me off a little yeah i guess it would just be like only regular <laughs> just muska flip muska flips just like a, a mob frontside flip right yeah it just, just super does inverted yeah, yeah. Does it, it's i never weird. it's weird how some people have uh hard flips and they don't actually flip yeah you my, see that one yeah my yeah. friend kyle gallup from omf he I don't know. I'm not going to say it doesn't flip and like discredit his <laughs> sick hard flips, but it's definitely one where it's just like, you know, it's like, I don't know. He has his foot like in the fucking um, the pocket or whatever, and it just like kind of pops and goes like straight. Like It's fucking in question. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty vertical. There's some that are pretty suspect. Dude. Yeah. And I've, I've done one when I was learning them and stuff, and we filmed it, and I watched it, and I was so stoked. I was like, damn, I got a hard flip. It was straight up just a pop shove it. <laughs> Not a hard flip at yeah. all. Yeah. Um, barley grinds and Bennett grinds. So that's two different ones. That's the same trick, right? Um, it just depends on which skin. Yeah, I guess uh, it's the same trick, oh, no, except one's front side 180 and then one's back side 180. Yeah, Bennett grind is the opposite way. Of the, yeah. The, back okay, so switch. yeah, that one makes sense too. Yeah, man. I'm not mad at it, but I see how it's weird. It's just people give it names because those skaters do it so well yeah. that way. Like Susky totally. just like killed that trick. Yeah. You know, and got it on tape, and everyone was like, that's mm-hmm. a susky grind. So. Yeah, no one's doing front susky either. It's just a five zero. <laughs> yeah, it's just not the same. Although yeah. uh, I've heard people call that one the susky grind a KT grind. Kevin Taylor because he used uh, to run those. Oh, it was those. like around the same time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Billy is the only person I know that does susky grinds or can do them like really good. Yeah, he's got a good one where you pinch it and just kind of like right away, like yeah. right into it. Hell yeah, Lawrence. Solid question. Sort of a question, but could just be a topic that's what i think i asked if you had topics or questions yeah that's a topic more than a question um oh this one i saw and i was i wanted to google and look but i don't think i'm gonna find anything asics uh entry into skateboard shoe game i don't even know what that is you don't know about asics is that the is it one uh is it um i know it didn't um are you thinking Didn't about- Greco like start a shoe brand or something recently? Really? I don't know. It's a good question. I He's- thought he did. There's like two pros that started like shoe brands recently. I don't know if that's one of them. Oh, um we talked about one on the one of the last episodes. It was um Pontus Alves started yeah. last resort. Yep. Um, exactly. That was one. And then I think Greco maybe started one too, unless I'm like just tripping. Oh, here we go. It's popping up. Let's see if anything shows up. A- Do you know about Asics though? No. It's just like um a running shoe brand, basically, oh. kind of a oh, brand like. A- I know, I know what that is. They started making skate shoes. Supposedly, I haven't. Oh my god. Oh, here we go. All right, I found an article. Skatenewswire.com. I don't know how authentic these are, but Asics skateboarding shoes. I see some on eBay though. 
Hold on. Yeah. Hold on. Yeah, I've seen that. <laughs> All right, hold on. Asics test the water in skateboarding with Japan only line. Interesting. There's even a video. Here, I'll turn down the volume, but we can watch it while I read. This it. is so weird. They just saw like Nike and New Balance and everyone else like. They're seeing skateboarding blow up in like Japan and Asian cu- culture, and they're like, "We need to get in on this." Shit. Exactly. <clears throat> um, with skateboarding scheduled to hit the Tokyo Games this summer, if the coronavirus doesn't thwart the plans. Yeah. We'll it's, see. Yeah, it's not surprising that Asics is testing the waters with its Japanese sports style line. Um, VHS Mag broke the news this morning via an edit and images posted on their website. While the feels, while this feels like another attempt to cash in on the Olympics, the mm-hmm. classic Asics have always been good for skating, and this Far East foray could be an in in I don't know what that word is. Um, of a pen, <laughs> pending global launch. Indication, sorry. That's, that's, <laughs> I couldn't figure the word out. My <laughs> brain was... Just, I hope that's not them. Look at them. You think those are them? Uh, that must be them. I, uh, they didn't really yeah. nail the logo. <laughs> kind of just looks like uh, their other shoes. Kind of looks like uh, almost like a Nike. <laughs> but yeah. with like a crazy logo on the side. It looks like a tic-tac-toe box. Kinda. It's like the Nija 2.50. Choo-choo. I'm not mad at it, though. Dude, look at that toe on that thing. I don't know if that oh would work. Oh, my God. <laughs> look at the toe on that thing. Your flick would get, like, it would stop, like, in the rivet. It looks like a D3, like, <laughs> fucking army tank on the nose. I'm not Weird. mad at it, though. Like, if they want to support skateboarders and do it, whatever, get into it. But try to do it correctly. Like, yeah. support legit skaters and actually try to make a proper skate shoe. Yeah, true. Time will tell about that one, though. Mm. I don't know about those shoes, though. <laughs> Look at with the sole. You see that? With the splits? That is really weird. I wish I could... Uh, I'll put a link. I'll put this uh, article in the description for those that are just what, just listening to the podcast. Yeah, look at that. That's right where you're all in kick flipping. Yeah, I feel There's like, like it would gaps. There's, stop you or something. Yeah, it's insane. I hope you can see this, but that's the toe of the shoe. doesn't make sense to me. Interesting, interesting. They got to put someone up from America on. America! <laughs> America. They already got a Japanese ride. Let's get American on there. Put red, white, and blue on those A6. All right, I'll save that one. I try to be, I'm trying to be better about putting the actual links in the description for you, my friends. How's your pumpkin? It's really good. It's the best pumpkin beer I maybe tasted. I haven't tried that many. Jacko pumpkin ale. I'm giving it like, I'm giving it like a 10 as far as pumpkin beers that I've tried. Nice. What's your go-to if you're going to get a drink? Oof. Um, I kind of drink like anything. Um, I like, (laughs) (laughs) Nice. I like beer. I like, like hard liquor. Do you have a go-to beer? Like a favorite? Mm. Favorite? Favorite? Um, also kind of just like everything. Like I can get something like pretty like you know classic like a bud light or a blue moon and then i also like ipas but yeah. i guess the one that stands out is i like sour ales a lot yeah yeah and now mm. it's not like a popular one but i like like sour like tart really stuff. yeah damn i yeah. don't know if i've had one maybe you gave me one i feel like oh maybe. yeah i was yeah yeah maybe not. maybe yeah but, somewhere because um, i don't think i've ever tried one before and i like shaladas which is also weird what's that it's like um Shalada? Yeah, it's kind of like um Shalada beer. Like a <laughs> Modelo makes it. It's called like a Michelada. Oh, so it's like uh is those the like It's tomato? like the tomatoy ones. <laughs> yeah. Excuse me. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> it's kind of like I don't know, Bloody Mary except beer kind of. I'm actually really not mad at it. It's like V8 except like beer. I yeah. don't know how to describe it. But they have this one that's like the Chipotle version and it's like spicy. Oh shit! Modelo makes it, and it's pretty sick. Yeah, I don't know. I gotta like. I guess those are like the weird ones that stick out. I like. <laughs> you gotta throw an olive in those things. Yeah, that would be good, right? Yeah, my mom likes olives in her cocktails. So, Hell yeah! You know. <laughs> I whenever I get on uh, flights, I like to get tomato juice. Yeah, don't get it anywhere else. But when I'm on an airplane, I'm like, I'm going for a tomato <laughs> juice. Weird, right? Yeah, just plain ritual. Yeah, it's super weird. 
I'm gonna have to try that though. A6, hook up Jim Greco, apparently. <laughs> Wait, what? I don't know. You said Jim Greco is starting a shoe brand? Oh, yeah. And yeah, I think he is. Let's let's Google and I'm see if we can sure. find this. But I don't think he's on A6. <laughs> no, but they should hook him up oh just because. <laughs> <laughs> He'd be so down, dude. Jim Greco's skate shoes. That's probably not going to help us because he's had pro models. Uh, Jim Greco starts a skate, brand, skate, skate shoe brand. Yeah, I feel like he did. I don't know. Where are you hearing this, bro? I have no idea. I think I just... Skate shoe Brad. I'm way <laughs> off today, dude. Sorry, podcast people. I'm fucking... I'm loopy today. I was like napping before you got here. Still in a haze. Yeah, I like fell asleep on my couch and just... <laughs> in 2005, Greco became part of a new footwear company called Supra. Yeah, he was doing that for a while. Jim Greco will leave Super after 14 hammer-filled years. Hammer-filled? <laughs> Can you guess which website wrote this? Hammer-filled. It's the barracks. Oh, God. <laughs> I should have known. <laughs> people cannot, some people cannot stand the barracks captions, dude. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I found some. This is November 2019. Oh, no. 1-1-20. We're going to the barracks for the news, okay? Let's see. Jim Greco, I want to thank Supra for 14 amazing years. The Greco Loafers by Supra Footwear, released tomorrow, will be my last signature shoe uh, for Supra to ever be produced. This was That was November 20th, uh, 2019, so that was a year ago. Yeah, let's check his Instagram real quick. Or something. Oh, here we go. Jim Greco has announced that he will no longer ride for Supra Footwear, Beginning January 1st, 2020, his final shoe, the Greco Loafer, will be his last in the brand. Instead of picking up another shoe sponsor, Greco will be hammering his own shoes. Hammering. Oh, yeah. Really maybe. running the hammering into the <laughs> ground. Maybe they just, yeah, I don't know. Hammering his own shoes. Talk about a sure-footed departure. If you're lucky, you may even be able to nab a pair of his artisanal footwear. Follow him on Instagram for his updates on his venture. So that's probably what it was. I probably just saw him like post a shoe that yeah. he made or something like that. Or he's always had like a style and a vision for like yeah. the way he dresses and Pretty his aesthetics sick. of skateboarding, yeah. like Greco. Yeah. Do you watch his like self? like films and stuff yeah I have. pretty sick it is pretty it's a sick. little crazy like a little out there but i like it because it's like him you know it's authentically yeah. him and you can tell he's like it's cool to watch i like it personally yeah there's just a bunch of like curb cut like clips too of yeah. him like nose blunting like curb cut to curb cut like uh nose blunting cars and like fucking going over like telephone booths dude that fucking like, slam he took on yeah him. he like that almost a, died he like fell into a curb yeah right, right on his fucking lower back yeah. and then i think he might have went back and did it i don't know i think yeah i hope so yeah i don't see anything on his instagram as far as like uh shoes because the post that i see is um just the one i was reading on the barracks basically gotcha. So, yeah, maybe that's what I saw, that he was just out there making his own shoes. <laughs> this is what he writes. This shoe release marks a sweet end to the bitter, beautiful relationship. Bitter. <laughs> I put that in there. <laughs> I put that in there. Maybe beautiful relationship. Um, on the 1st of 2020, I'll start process of producing my own shoes for personal use. I will make a small amount of extra pairs to sell to the general public. I am not making a shoe company. Therefore, these shoes collectively will have no brand name. Only my last name on each pair. Damn. Guess I got my question answered. Dude, he's becoming a cobbler. Is that what a cobbler is? <laughs> they do. cobble shoes, I think. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're going to have to Google cobbler now. That's how dumb I am. Do you know what a cobbler is? is? No. All right, we're both dumb. <laughs> shoemaker? Cobbler. Def definition. I think it's a, sh yeah, I think it's a shoemaker. Cobbler. A person who mends shoes as a side job. So not really, exactly. They just fix shoes. Yeah, he's just doing it. He's fixing up his own motherfucking shoes, that's Hell for yeah. sure. Beast. Danny Gonzalez commented on it. Damn, you do you remember Danny Gonzalez? Mm-mm. He kickflipped Melon Grab Wallenberg. Oh, yeah. First yeah, try. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, yeah, yeah. that dude that came in skateboarding sick. and just destroyed it. Yeah, he ripped. That's like the only thing I can like think of. I need to study up more on him. Oh, dude. 
I should show you some of his clips. When he came out, he was doing shit nobody was doing. Yeah, just he, like going for it. He did that. He did like um this one wall ride where he like went up wall rid and then went on top and then like came back in like so an upside down. Oh yeah, yep. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Fucked up shit. All right, I'm putting the links in for these articles because I read those like like complete shit and you might want to read them yourself. <laughs> Um, let's see. I'll, I'll find some Danny Gonzalez footage. He was kind of controversial too, actually. That's sick. <laughs> yeah, he. I can't remember what the story was with him, but I mm-hmm. feel like he got a lot of hate for something. I'm not gonna remember though. Kind of like back in the day when Jamie Thomas had a lot of issues with everybody in skateboarding. Yeah. I feel like Danny Gonzalez. I think he was just like kind of arrogant and cocky and people weren't feeling it. Yep. Here's best of Danny Gonzalez. That sounds good. From Jankum, who came at World Industries. Choo, 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 choo. <laughs> trying to pick on World Industries is such a losing battle. Yeah. I think it's hilarious though. Whoa. Nose one on a board. <laughs> oh, pop that was out. Sick. Oh Dude, my god. Dude, hard flip melon grab on trainee to fakey. That's what you're talking about. That yeah, was it was. Sick straight up. Kick foot melon grab Wallenberg oh first god. tee. Oh my god, dude. What the fuck? He probably told everyone that. That was clearly just a fuck up. He you did. think so? That looks like on purpose manual to revert, or mm-hmm. is it just me? I think he fucked up on perp- on accident. That was switch tray, though. Yeah, he Damn. just like at yeah, that was crazy. He just came out hot and then he kind of just like faded away. I think he had bad knees. He got oh, like damn. serious knee injuries on one trick. I think he tore both wow, what what the fuck was that? <clears throat> I think he tore both his knees on a front side flip at oh. the same time. Jeez. Dude, let me see if I can find it. I know that's like horrible <laughs> to watch, but <laughs> Oh my god. It was like one of those ones where like I can't believe that just fucking happened. And he was like killing it in all the magazines and videos, and then just one. It's not popping up. That's all right. Yeah. I'm going to put this link in the description. You're going to hear me say that a lot this episode, too. Just because. Why not? It's starting to get chilly, Evan. A little bit, yeah. I'm getting a little nervous because the edge isn't open yet. And there's yeah, no, like- not many indoor parks around, you know? Yeah, it's like pretty much November. That's what they that's I talked to them and they said they were aiming for like the first of November now. Yeah, word. And I know they've been in there in the park like fixing it up and trying to figure it out and yeah. they were replacing Masonite like Jensen said he went and helped and carried a bunch of Masonite around for them. Oh no way. Did he get to skate? I don't Hope, know. I didn't hopefully. ask him. <laughs> he went today um to get a tattoo. Jensen's getting his first tattoo. Jensen is? Yeah, he told me it's gonna be like um a skateboard that like goes into like the double helix, like DNA. The oh, symbol. that's so kind of like sick. Part part human, part skateboard. No way. I don't. I didn't see any like of it. He was supposed to actually. I'll text him right now because imagine if he sends us a photo, I could show the show the pod. Yeah, I didn't pin him to get a tattoo so quick for some reason. I didn't even know he's eighteen. Is he? I don't know. I feel like he wasn't, but maybe maybe not. Maybe he is. I mean, let's see. <laughs> I'll ask him. I'll ask him his age too. He's yeah, like, I thought no. he was like seventeen or something. Do you have to be eighteen to get a tattoo? Uh, depends on the state. You can get one with your parents' consent. Some places, nice. like sixteen, seventeen. We'll see if he gets back to us. He might be in it right now. Just fucking under the needle. Yeah. <laughs> he the the detail I failed to mention is he's getting it tattooed on his ball sack. Oh uh, yeah, <laughs> of course. <laughs> Dude, that seems like the worst spot to get tatted. I think he would, yeah, it wouldn't be good. <laughs> All right, the homie Zach, he writes Woodward just as a topic. You ever been to w- Woodward? Yeah, I went once, and you it was really, really fun, yeah. Yeah, East? Uh, Yeah. Who went with you? What's the deal? How'd you go? Um, I drove there with Eli. My dad drove us, and then a lot of my other friends were there, too. This kid, Lane, from Rhode Island... Uh, this kid, CJ, also from Rhode Island, they're both like a year younger than me, maybe. And I was like in 10th grade at the time. Hell yeah. So I was like 15, 16, and they were all like 14 or 15. 
And then I didn't really like make too many friends. Did you guys pay to go? Yeah, That's yeah. That's sick. So I just think so. go for yeah. like a week? Yeah, I went for a week. And you Rogan were... was there and then he was there too, but he broke his wrist on like the second day and he went home. Rough. But yeah, I got like wicked like sick when I came back from Woodward. It was really weird. I feel like I got something there that like fucked me up. <laughs> Some type of... The fucking kid flu? Yeah, Virus. so Probably I like... Corona. um. I got like fucking a few days after I came back, I got like really bad like stomach and I like threw up for like two days or whatever. Gnarly. But then the weirder thing was, is I had like a super bad, like random allergic reaction, like, like a few days after that. So like a week after I came back Jesus. where like my, like the bottom of my feet and my hands, like my extremities were like tingling and burning and like. It was like really weird and just like almost like extremely like itchy and just like I can't like describe it. It was so bad. You think it was from going there? Maybe because I'd never had an allergic reaction in my whole life. I felt like I just like brought something back or like Whoa. caught something because like I don't know. I didn't eat or drink or do anything out of like the normal. Yeah. So I was uh, in the beach teaching a surf lesson. And all of a sudden, like, my hands, like, started to swell up and get all puffy. And, like, my feet were, like, burning. And I was just, like, standing in the water. I've never had that happen. Yeah. And for then I got, Did like... it last for a while? Um, so, like, a few days after I got back, like, my, like, feet got that, like, weird sensation. Like, they were, like, crazy itchy and, like, almost burning for, like, no reason. And then, like, it went away. And then all of a sudden at the beach that day, like it started up again and got like really intense. And then like on top of my hands and feet, like swelling up for no reason, I got like super like disoriented and like felt like I was going to like, I don't know, pass out or something. Yeah. And, um, yeah, I just like went to the fucking ER cause like it was super sketch and I thought I was going to like collapse or I don't know it was just scary I was like die yeah I was like (laughs) shit like what the fuck (laughs) everyone was like super worried because I just looked like really not good I guess but then uh, I don't know they gave me like some type of shot to like stop the reaction when I got to the hospital was that what it was allergic reaction that's like what yeah that that's what they thought at least yeah like it's funny how the doctors like they can't always figure out what's wrong with you yeah they just guess and give you something yeah yeah it's so weird and then I was just on like a steroid for like a few weeks after. So you went to where you came out, got sick, and then you had the, like a allergic reaction. Or All in like within like like ten days from within coming home. Brutal. Kind of weird. Did you have fun at Woodward at least? I did have yeah. fun. <laughs> yeah, it was sick. I'm definitely what is. If I like went and knew I was gonna get sick when I came back, I still would have gone. Fucking worth it. <laughs> sick. Yeah. It's so fun there. Dude, it's sick. It's uh, Even to go now, I feel like would even be more fun. I saw a video like, recently, and it looked like they added like this crazy downhill snake run thing throughout the park. Like, Oh, really? Yeah, let's see if we can look up some shit on Woodward. Cause there was a snake run when I went there, but I don't know. No, nah, like it's, it was something new for sure. Oh, sick. I know they like changed. Like, there's the middle... The park in the middle of like the whole place called the Rock the or whatever, rock, yeah. and I think that's like all different than when I went. Let's see, Woodward uh, summer camps. How much did it cost when you went? Do you remember? I have no idea. It's like probably like a thousand bucks. Yeah, I feel like there's like much a Christmas used. slash birthday and like you know all that stuff together. I wish I was into gymnastics. I'd go there and fucking romp that. <laughs> yeah, there's definitely a lot of girls walking around, I think. Oh, dude, at 15, you go to Woodward, you just have a boner nonstop. <laughs> yeah, up. it's like, fucked. There's just like 15-year-old chicks there just doing gymnastics, and mm. you're trying to skate, and you can't skate with a <laughs> boner. <laughs> God damn it. All right, facilities? Where the fuck is your park? Yeah, that place is so fried. Yeah, look, doesn't that look like a snake run right there? Can't tell what that is. It won't, like, show me. I think me. that's the one that was there when I went. How dare you? Yeah, sorry. How fucking dare you, bro? But it was it was beautiful. It's like, you know that, like, in Cali, some of those concrete parks have, like, that caramel color almost, yeah. that, like, tan, like, caramel color? Like, that's the color of that snake run. Yeah, yeah. I, like, I don't know, it's, like, extra smooth. It just has a good feeling, too. Yeah. 
Dude, this is going to piss me off for him to figure this out. Google knows everything. Everything. We'll do Woodward, Skate Camp, New Snake Run, Snake Run. Yeah, I guess. 2020. If the oh. kids are wondering, though, if you had the chance to go at least once, I'd probably go. Definitely. Just because you also like can meet people, which is cool. And just the park is sick. From like all over the world, too, I'm yeah. pretty sure. Mm. Yeah, there was a... All right, so the videos popping up are from 2013, 2012. I went to World War, but maybe it's just been a long fucking time, and I just didn't see a snake on it. <laughs> when I went, when yeah. I went, there wasn't one. Yeah, that's what you're talking about? Yep, that was it. All right, so it was there when you went? Yeah. Dude, I'm just old as shit. <laughs> that's all it is. That looks fun, dude. It was amazing. I can like kind of remember how it went. I think it's just like one way for a while with a bunch of hits, then it like goes around comes down back this way there's that huge wall and then the rest yep. is like more fun stuff that's like right humps and side hits i want to see how much it costs nowadays to go to skate camp i bet it's like even more probably. yeah especially with i bet i wonder if they even did anything with corona you know oh shit right yeah they probably canceled it book now let's see their website's intense though yeah, it's super book. like flashy and hype and like Yeah. It's cause they got like a filming spot on the camp too. You can like learn True. to film and stuff. And all the kids see this site, they're like, Holy shit, this is fucking sick. Yeah, bro. <laughs> we have to go. Um, it won't let me fucking find the pricing, bro. Here we go, camps. Summer camps. Weekend getaways. Sounds cool that way. Two hundred per person. Deep Deep end weekend, adult skate weekend, October second through the fourth, twenty twenty. So they are doing it. Usual usually Woodward is ruled by the youngsters, but now it's time for adult swim. Adult <laughs> oh skate God. weekend is open only to eighteen plus and it's time for the big kids to skate. Choo, 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 choo. Wonder if they would like make you a helmet though. Escape to the picturesque. Nah, uh when I went as like a visiting pro, I didn't have to wear a helmet. Oh word. Um, escape to the picturesque landscape of Woodward Skate Camp. Uh, join us at Woodward for our first deep end weekend. This is your chance to spend three days shredding many of Woodward's signature terrain. I would fucking honestly consider that. <laughs> like, I know wow. it's not do it a weekend to go to Woodward. <laughs> yeah, for only two hundred bucks. Skate like four, five, six different fucking awesome parks. We have to get there though. It's like pretty. It's like pretty far away I think. yeah it's like seven hours or something or yeah. six. Oh, we could drive that yeah it's not too bad this event is a weekend package and does not include daily riding rates meals, what <laughs> yeah what does that mean the fuck meals are provided on saturday and concessions will be available throughout the weekend helmets are mandatory in order fuck. to ride any of our indoor or outdoor parks please contact us so i guess you do have to rock the the helmet if you want to stay in the lodge, which is two full beds per room, bedding includes 700 for first two people. What? Holy crap. The annex and buds, which is uh, two full beds, max four people, 600 for, for the for the first two people. The cabins, that's where it's $200 per person is a cabin. They're about their bag. Yeah, they got it. Do you see that place? True. <laughs> Bag's got to be secured to keep Woodward <laughs> open. Here, I'll put it in there for all you Woodward heads that are like, I want to go. That is pretty fun. Yeah. I mean, 200 bucks for the weekend doesn't sound too bad, and you, bad, and you got to like kind of slum it in, the, in yeah. the cabins, but whatever. Yeah, yeah. Okay. especially if it's not packed full, then it's straight. If in October, it's probably so beautiful, it's like worth it. Yeah. But the helmet thing, I don't know if I can do it. I'm going to be honest. Yeah. Maybe I'm too old, but I don't think I can wear a helmet for a weekend of skating at woodward i'd rather just stay here and skate outdoor parks yeah with no i feel helmet. you <laughs> yeah we have a lot of good parks around yeah. here damn that's how old i am <clears throat> when i was younger i'd say yeah don't give a fuck about that yep oh my god dude no figure out who it is bro put it let's show the pod who this is oh it's eli yo go ahead <laughs> go ahead oh my god speaker him. Speaker him. <laughs> what's up eli what's up what you doing? I'm at I'm uh, recording right now with Shetler on the podcast. <laughs> We're live. Yeah, boy. 
<laughs> Hell yeah, Eli. Choo 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 choo. Eli moved. Eli moved to Maine. Oh, dude! Everyone, all my family members in like Westgate just moved to Maine. <laughs> Oh, I know, man. Where, where in Maine? Where, roughly, whereabouts? Ah, uh, Western Maine. I'm like an hour <laughs> northwest of Lewiston. Oh, sick, dude. Yeah, dude. Westgate just moved up that that way too. So, damn, you got good company now. Hell yeah. Fuck yeah. Yo, nice talking to you. Hell yeah. I'll talk to you later, bub. Yeah, give me a shout. All right, see ya. Hell yeah. <laughs> so funny. He moved to Maine, huh? Yeah. He's still building skate parks? Nah, he just quit, actually. He's really? going to do, like, other fucking, like, man shit, like, excavation and, like, I don't know, build stuff, like, carpentry, just, like, a little bit of everything, I think. He did that for a while, though. He's building parks, Yeah, right? probably for, like, hmm, three years, at least. Damn, sick. Yeah, and he's, like, pretty respected. Yeah. Did a good job, but, uh, I don't know, it's, like, a on-the-road type job, like, not really home like a lot at all so maybe he just got sick of it he wanted to go to maine bro yeah <laughs> eli's doing manly shit for men yeah that's awesome um i wanted to give a shout out to traveling skateboarders group on facebook True. um yeah these guys uh submitted a bunch of questions so shout out to you guys cool and they they have a magazine too actually let me see traveling skateboarders i think they do like a little zine as well let me see if i can find it online i might be tripping it might only be a facebook page but i want to say they actually have a mag too kevin told me the other day he's starting to work on a all i need mag number two sick and he was saying send out the bat bat signal to people uh i believe it's all i need mag a l l i n e e d m a g at gmail dot com if oh, you want to okay, submit word. photos because we, we wanted to get some photos from the people out there. Yeah. But we're starting to curate that thing now. So word, traveling skateboarders, and it's at traveling skateboarders. It says magazine, so that's good. Let me see if I can. This is their website. They actually have a website too. This is a proper proper shout out. Yeah, big one. Uh, it might not load, so I'm gonna have to bail though. It's, it's not loading though. It looks like they have a zine though. Look, you see that vibing yeah, long border that? costume for baby. It's the guy who listened to the fucking uh, Fleetwood Mac with the cranberry. Oh my! It's a. God, it's like a. Dude. It's got to be a joke. It's like a kit for your baby to make what your baby look like that guy. Dude, the internet is f- fried. Dude. It has to be fake or what? just they're on it, dude. That's so funny. Well, shout out to you guys. And if people want to check it out, it's going in the description. Could you guess? Let me see. Don't be doing that, bro. (laughs) Make sure your ringer's off, bro. Okay? Yeah, it's off now. This is amateur. How many many podcasts have you been on now? A billion. Not like five times, probably. That's the first time that's happened. Fair enough. Fair enough. All right, that was the next shout out. Moving on. Oh, this is a long one. We'll have to break this one up in uh, sections because it's a heavy one. It's a two two pager one. And this one actually a shout out to over thirty and still skating on Facebook. That's a group on. I think Facebook. I've seen that group pop up. <laughs> Dude, there's some interesting groups out on the Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> I always post stuff in different skate groups. And, yeah, uh, that's why I see it. <laughs> yeah, and they always come through with the questions and like feedback and stuff. It's pretty awesome to know people out there like just love skateboarding. You yeah, know? hell yeah. This is Maddie MCD. He these are topics we could talk about length and wheelbase of deck. Amount of flat between trucks and nose or tail, angles of nose slash tail, um, what trucks change your wheelbase, height of deck from ground depending on trucks, risers, angles of pop, how trucks, risers, wheels change it, shock pads worth a damn. How do you feel about, um, do you do you know exactly what wheelbase you ride or length deck? You know your width, so. Um, yeah, I have no idea. I'm pretty sure, like, I don't know, most decks are anywhere between, like, 
29 and 32 inches long probably something like yeah. that or even just like 30 to 32 common is like 32 <clears throat> yeah 30, yeah 32 31 yeah 31.75 32 and a quarter yeah so yeah that's usually what i'd stick Do you like to. a longer board or a shorter board um if i had to choose a board that like wasn't in the middle if it was like a little bit longer a little bit shorter i'd go with a board that's a little bit shorter yeah yeah Interesting. i don't know why All i've right. like skated a few boards or like different like you know like blanks we've gotten that like we put our graphic on like if there's ever been a one i feel like is a little bit shorter i prefer it to the ones that i've noticed are a tad longer kind of makes sense because like um you're not like over six feet right yeah, yeah no i feel like if you're over six feet you probably want a longer board yeah just because that makes sense i kind of like a a shorter board too maybe yeah i'd rather it be like happy medium but if i had to lean anywhere I'd lean towards shorter boards. Yeah, exactly. What about wheelbase? That's like in between the trucks, right? You measure, right? Yeah. Yeah. So that's the length, though, sort of. of yeah, the... that ties into the length. Yeah. I mean, do you ever do you ever pay attention to wheelbase? Nah, but <laughs> <laughs> but Fair um, enough, bro. just looking at the sample, I'm I guess most of them are, you know, like there's the nose and then a little bit of like maybe that much, and then the first, the like the top bolt holes. Yeah. <laughs> bolt, <laughs> bolt holes. Bolt, <laughs> <laughs> bolt holes. Nice. Uh, Average wheelbase of um of a skateboard. I wonder if they measure it from like the bottom to the top or the ones in the middle. It's the it's the inner ones. It's the inner yeah. ones. Average it's wheelbase what, is like fifteen. Is thirteen inches to yeah. fifteen inches. Although many decks only feature one set of holes, some skateboards have multiple mounting holes for trucks. Remember that? Yeah, they do. Yeah. For like wider decks in case people wanna sometimes with like one fifty nines and one sixty nines. Yeah. They'll add the like extra holes on the truck on like yeah. the base plate. For I used to set nah. I didn't set them up wide, but I used to skate bigger trucks, so it would be like it would have the extra thing. Yeah, for it says or for wheel ba- wheelbase options, so you could just slide it, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. Adjusting wheelbase can dramatically affect how the board performs. Your experience level will in indicate the right wheelbase for you. Experience level. I only learned this just when I was measure like I found boards I liked and I like measured it just so when I reached out to like manufacturers, I knew what like. I liked, you know? Mm-hmm. Totally. They're saying most skate decks are around 31 to 33 inches long. That's what we were saying. Decks longer than 33 inches will often have a proportionally longer wheelbase. That yeah. really. This is CCI, CCS Buyer's Guide. Hell yeah. I wanted to find like Looking a diagram. Looking out for the kids. Yeah, for Making real. Making sure they know. They don't care. <laughs> this is like, give me that fucking eight inch board. Mm. Make sure that thing rips, bro. Yep. So they just have the width. I wanted to find a wheelbase, like um, they had like a picture to show it, like the sizes and all that stuff. Oh, here we go. It shows right here. All right. So the length is from the tip of the nose to the tip of the tail. The pan. I don't know what the pan is, but that's like the outside measurement. It looks like yeah, the the outside truck holes to the mm-hmm. other outside one, mm-hmm. and then the two sets of holes where the hardware go that are closest <laughs> to the middle of the board from that to that is the wheelbase. Yeah. It's hard to describe. Where the hardware goes. <laughs> yeah. 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 You know, unless you put holes in your board like I do. And then the width, you just measure from fucking side to side. Yep. They call the rail, nose and tail. Nice. And he had what, like shape or something? What else did he say? What are you saying? That guy. Oh, on here? Oh, yeah. there's a bunch. <laughs> there's a bunch. Uh, height of the height of the deck from the ground, depending on trucks. Oh, my uh, gosh. On truck riser, risers, angle of pop, how trucks, riser, wheels change it. Do you ever rock risers? I used to, yeah. Just to get a little extra um, height or um, shock absorbent? I think because I used to skate like wobbly ass, like looser trucks than I do now, so I didn't want wheel bite. They're like almost to the point where they would, you know, just. Is that what they're wobble. actually for? Is to like jack it up higher so you don't get as much wheel bite? I think that's like the main purpose, I guess. I feel or so one stupid of them. tonight. Because if you like skating like 
bigger wheels like if you like skating like 60 millimeter wheels if you're in a like tranny or just like big wheels in general yeah then it's gonna be way easier to wheel bite yeah so you need the spacer the risers yeah that's what it was because i used to skate like 60s or like 58s and then also have like looser trucks than i do now so it was like between those two things i needed a riser pad your trucks are pretty fucking <laughs> loose now they dude. were yeah so there was even worse for sure they used to be like even looser i don't know what i was thinking this is what tactics.com which is a skateboard like uh store they're saying skateboard riders give extra clearance between your decks and wheels, which is what you're saying, to reduce wheel bite. Riders are usually recommended for larger wheels, 55 millimeter and above, and while not necessary for smaller skate wheels. Yeah. One-eighth shock pads can always be used to help reduce vibrations and stress cracks to your board. Yeah, true. I guess that too. Yeah. I mean. If you care. Yeah. <laughs> if your board's getting stress cracks, it's like. You're probably just killing that. Yeah, you're just skating. Yeah, like it's, what it's for. I don't know. <laughs> Drink up, my friend. Oh, choo 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 choo. Um, what size wheel you're riding? Right now, I'm actually on a 58. Oh, what? Yeah. Like casually? Yeah. 58. Yeah, 58. You're joking? No. That's what you're riding. Like we just went skating. Yeah. You're riding 58. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude. Cause um, I, I usually know. see that and go, whoa, those are big, but I didn't see that. And it, yeah, while skating, I didn't go. Evan's wheels are fucking gigantic. <laughs> Fifty eight seems huge. <laughs> yeah, just do it, cause um, I think like the perfect size wheel for me kind of is like fifty six. So if I get fifty sixes, if I like skate them for a while, then they're like too small. Kind of, yeah. they just you know you skate wheels and they get smaller. So if I get if I start out at fifty eight, then just like skate them for a while, and then, and then they'll just perfect. then it'll be like what I want. Nice. Yeah, I'm actually skating acid chemical codes right now. Shout really out! Nice. Do -do -do -do. Let's check them out. I'm actually interested. Yeah, about. just because with the whole pandemic bullshit, um, we didn't have any like Spitfires that I liked at Juice or any Bones or anything like you know. The First time trying them. Yeah, and at first, I don't know, I didn't really pay attention to, like, the, um, what's it called? The hard and softness. Durometer. Yeah, there's that other um, word that's not, um, you know, the one, like, 101A or 99, yeah. the yeah. hard and softness. I didn't pay attention, and, like, they were way too slick. They were, like, harder than I usually skate. Oh, uh, okay. But then it kind of wore off, and now it just feels like any other wheel. It's, like, feels normal. Uh, that's the I think that's the duro meter. That's what it's called? <laughs> Don't you, fuck it. you ever heard that word? Before? Yeah, I have. <laughs> I think that is what it's called, but it didn't feel right saying duro meter. Yeah, <laughs> duro. <laughs> We're learning a lot today, boys. <laughs> duro meter measures the skateboard wheel's hardness, which can in turn <laughs> specific. These articles are always wrote so lame because they're wrote for the layman person that yeah. doesn't know. Which can, uh, in turn, uh, specify if that particular wheel is better suited for skateboards or longboards. Yeah. Yeah, so, like, on the rink, like, surface at OMF, they were, like, way too slick. I was oh, trying, yeah. like, tricks out, and just normally you do, like, a little revert to, like, you know, rotate, like, the last bit. And it was just, like, I felt like I was just, like, slipping out. And then, but it was weird on like asphalt like the opposite type of like it was like you know rough not like the rink it was yeah. harder to like power slide and i don't know what was up with that i've gotten some wheels where it feels like you literally put fucking ice cubes onto your trucks and you're like whoa yeah slipping all over and shit yeah it takes a while before it wears off yeah now now it's like good so here's what it's saying um if i'm understanding this correctly for durometer let me see if i can find it again the diameter is the size of the wheel. Yeah, that's why it feels so weird to say durometer. Yeah. It feels like when it says meter, you're describing like how big it is. Here, I'll read this. Um, the hardness of the durometer of a skateboard wheel determines how much grip the wheel has and the amount of shock it can absorb. To break mm. it down, a softer wheel can compress when pressure is applied to it, giving it more grip and allowing it to absorb more shock. A harder wheel will barely compress under pressure, giving it less grip and less shock absorption. 
absorption. That was fun to say. A soft wheel will create a very smooth ride, but hard wheels are preferred by most core street skaters, street yeah. and transition skaters. <laughs> I threw core in there. They didn't really write that. Uh-huh. But hard wheels are preferred by most street and transition skaters for their responsiveness. Riding hard wheels will allow you to feel everything you are rolling over. This awareness will be beneficial as you navigate through rolling transitions in a park or negotiating a college, a collage of concrete and asphalt in the <sighs> urban jungle. <laughs> oh to we're out in the urban jungle. Hard wheels are also response directly to your movements. When mm. you snap into an ollie, all of the pressure you apply direct, directs, uh, transfers directly to your deck and wheels, giving you maximum pop. Softer wheels are great for cruising around and bombing hills at high speeds. They absorb a lot of the no shock way. from the road, creating a super smooth ride for some awesome cruiser wheels. Take a look at the lineup from OJ. Shout out. Ooh, OJ got the, the recommendation. And then I'm guessing these are the, yeah, wheel durometer is most commonly measured as the A scale. The same one used to determine bushing hardness. Interesting. I didn't know that. Yeah, me neither. Wow. Mm -hmm. Learning on the pod today, my friends. The A scale is a ranking system of numbers followed by the letter A. The letter A. Um, The larger the number, the higher the durometer and the harder the wheel. Let me say that again. Yeah, makes the sense. The higher the durometer, in the harder the, in the harder the wheel. Yeah, it makes sense because I've uh, gotten wheels and just if it's like one, I feel like one oh one. That's like too. Um, it's really hard. Yeah, it's too hard. That's what they write here. They so for example, one oh one a would be a very hard skateboard wheel, while seventy five a would be a very yeah, soft be one. Super soft. Like yeah, I think the acid chemical codes I got were like one hundred or one hundred one. I just didn't pay attention. I was like, "Fuck it, whatever." Yeah, <laughs> forgot like what number was considered like hard. I thought like one hundred or one hundred one was like normal. You got fucking <laughs> concrete wheels out there, hard as shit. Um. You can usually see the durometer listing in this manner on a skateboard wheel along with the wheel size. Imagine image of a wheel with size and durometer printed on it. Almost all street and transition wheels are harder than 90, 98A. Cruising yeah. wheels are usually around 78A, but can be anywhere between 78A and 90A. I was looking at wheels for all I need, and I think we were looking at 99A, if Sounds I'm not mistaken. Like good. Yeah. yeah. This is saying 83B through 84B, the hardest wheels on the scale. Good for experienced technical street park skaters. So see, they went into a B scale here. That's why people get confused because yeah, we're talking so A stupid. the whole time. Now we're going to 83B, and that's that's hard as shit. Yeah. So in the B scale, 83 is hard as shit. But in the A scale, 101 and A mm-hmm. is hard as shit. So it's yeah. like... That's that's probably confusing. That confuses a little bit. Totally. Oh, here we go. Okay, so it's saying Bones Wheels uses a B rating scale to I've noticed s- that. signify durometer. Mm-hmm. The B scale is a different way of measuring the same thing. Okay. Um, and is mainly used for the hardest wheels on the spectrum. Our wheels are on the spectrum, my friend. <laughs> That's where my mind went to. <laughs> I didn't say anything, though. You're on the spectrum, <laughs> the wheel spectrum. The conversion is simple. The B scale reads 20 values below the A scale. Oh, okay. So that makes sense. 101A equals 81B. Jeez, 83B must be, like, fucking wicked hard then. 103, 81. Wait, I think, wait. 81B is the equivalent to 101A, so that's hard as shit, right? Yeah. And then it's going up from there. So 103A is equivalent to 83B. So is that harder or softer? My brain's like, yeah, it's getting harder. 83B must be super hard. Yeah. Yeah, 103A. It's probably what you had. Yeah, bastards. Maybe we should should read the notes to the beginners, too. It is smart to stick with something around 101A. Anything else, this is notes to beginner. Anything above 98A will perform well in the street or in park. Anything softer will probably slow you down. However, 
If you wish to cruise around on your skateboard and are not much interested in learning tricks, a software wheel will work well for you. For a good Thanks. cruising wheel, choose something between 78A and 90A. It's funny because this information kind of like has to be out there because like people don't know. Oh, dude, I've been skating for <laughs> over 24 years and I didn't know any of this. <laughs> I knew like soft and hard. It, like I was kind of confused by A and B scale. Yeah. But like, like I just knew what I liked, you know. Mm -hmm. It's nice to reread it though, because now it makes more sense. Because when I was a kid reading that shit, it sounded yeah. like goobly gawk. Yeah. You know, blah, 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 blah. That's you read it, you're like, ugh, can't even pay attention and shit. Um, thanks CCS. This is CCS.com. Hell yeah. Yeah. So the giving us all the notes for the beginners and stuff. And guess what? Guess where that link's going. Evan. In the uh, in the uh, description, right in the description, <laughs> right in there, <laughs> right in there, man. Um, okay, probably back to the questions. Mm. Yes. Oh yeah, this feels good right now. Back in it. It's been a minute since we've chilled. Yeah, hell yeah. The last nice. time, like we chilled and actually, like besides skating. Yeah, besides do, skating. But but like doing this is like yeah. a little different. Was yeah. uh, probably the last pod, right? Yeah, probably because COVID and shit. Mm -hmm. We learned a lot about wheels tonight. Yeah. Which is good because we got some all-in-e wheels coming. Hell yeah. Not till 2021, but they're in the works. Fuck yeah. Talking Quint, cr quint Crushers. Look it's for the Quint so Crushers. Sick. Yeah. Yeah. It's perfect. Peter like, you know, Quint Crushers. It's it sounds perfect. good too, Yeah. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Quint's been crushing it on the deck, so we're going to do some wheels. And oh, um, yeah. th uh, what was the size? We were doing 53s. Yeah. To good. start. Yeah. yeah. Totally. And then if we move those, we'll do other sizes. But to start 53. I'll skate them. And 99, I believe it was, what I say, 99A? I think that uh, was the yeah. barrel meter. So yeah, like that's not what you too said. hard, not too soft. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Try to be like happy medium, like mm -hmm. something that, that I like to skate and that. Um, okay, back to the questions. Um, worth the damn wood shops. Want us to talk about wood shops? Um, there's a few out there, man. Like what kind of wood shop? Like a skate? I'm assuming he's talking about like skateboard manufacturing. Yeah. I always look up YouTube videos and like there's a bunch of tours through some of these factories like BBS down in Mexico. Um, Super cool. Yeah. There's videos out there. People even like Chinese companies. There's um, ones up in Canada. There's mm -hmm. one Penswood out in the US. Like there's manufacturers and the videos are so cool because all the fucking machines, you know, yeah. the process of all of it, it just always blows my mind. I love watching those fucking videos. Hell yeah, a lot goes into it. Yeah. Buy a fucking skateboard. And then like even at a lot of those places, they make the transfers, heat transfers too for the skateboard, mm -hmm. which is a sick process. Like yeah. printing it and all that shit gets me so stoked, dude. I watched one video of Stevie Williams going to BBS and it was sick because that, that factory down there is amazing. Mm -hmm. but um it's got everything you know but uh yeah. the video was hilarious to me because he fucking he did the thing which i it, it would usually be me but he fucking tries to open the door right in the beginning of the video and it's like i think it's like you're supposed to pull but he's pushing and oh he like literally God. looks like he's gonna break the door <laughs> right in the beginning of the video and he just stuck with it oh my <laughs> like, gosh he got it bro that's sick <laughs> hold on i'm gonna try to find that real <laughs> quick <laughs> Dude, it was perfect, though. Young Stevie. He's awesome. Yeah. That's where, I think that's where they make DGK down there. Mm. Um, let's see if I can find it. But yeah, dude, funniest thing ever. Because it's fucking just watching him try to uh, get the door, you know? And that's like something that would totally happen to me, man. Yeah, this yes. is it. Not his first one. Bullshit. <laughs> look, look, look. Here it comes. The door. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, he pushed. <laughs> he just didn't even like. Yeah. Dude, that's my move, Stevie. What? How oh fucking dare you, bro? That's my move. He didn't even say anything. He just kept trying and then like <laughs> Dude, opened it like it didn't happen. He was pulling on that door and it was a push door and he gave it like good. That was like four to five <laughs> decent like tugs on that fucking thing before he decided the push option. 
<clears throat> hilarious. And he he could laugh at that because like if that yeah. happened to me, I'd laugh at you. All you could do is laugh at yeah, that. Yeah, totally. You know, it's fucking Not hilarious. Much else to do. That might be the name of this episode. Stevie figures out the door. <laughs> <laughs> Stevie William locked out of BBS. <laughs> <laughs> We're figuring out the door, my friends. I'll just put Stevie William door, and you guys will know. It's in the description now. You go there, you watch this shit. Yeah, wood shops are sick, and that's actually a video that has they walk through the wood shop, so you get to see all the process of it, see all the materials, the raw materials, um, dyed veneers where they dye the veneers. They have this CNC machines where they cut the shapes and drill the holes, all the presses. So you press all the seven veneers together with the glue, and fucking uh, just like all the machines, everything that sanders the employees, like the warehouse space is so fucking cool, like. Um, there's a few videos out there, that, not just this w- wood shop, but there's like a lot of wood shops. Control up in Canada has sick videos, I believe, online. Oh, yeah. There's a bunch if you look them up. And then Penswood, too. Shout out to Penswood out in Pennsylvania making boards for America. Gee. Dude, I, I'm i stoked to be working with him, man. He's awesome. We, he started, we started the first run of All I Need boards with through Penswood. And yeah, I remember for, you went out there for that, right? Uh, no, we didn't go there. We went out to uh, Chapman when we first. They were pressing. Oh, okay. the, they were pressing our boards. Yeah. Um. And he, I think he was working with Penswood then, but uh, yeah, I did boards directly through Penswood in the beginning. Hell yeah! And now we just get the blanks from Penswood. Yep. Which is rad. And it's cool that it's still going on. I know there's other places in America, but it's cool that it's like Pennsylvania and fucking. Yeah, it's pretty close. Yeah, it's just cool. I'm yeah. proud of that for some reason. I didn't build any of it. <laughs> I'm just proud that it exists. You know? <laughs> like, fucking good on you, bro. Hell yeah. I like giving my money to, like, an American company that makes them, too, you know? Mm. Like, that's cool. The dream's alive. Um, Let's see. Let's get back. He wrote so much stuff, and I'm glad you did, but this shit, um, you're making me learn. Wait, that's that. the same question? Dude, this is the first page of the same. It was oh. just topics. He's like, these are oh. things we should talk about. Oh. Um, So he actually says difference between A and B scale. We oh, just cool. Did. It's 20, 20 durometer difference. So if you have 100, it's mm-hmm. 80 and B. Uh, what What is up with Spitfire and D scale? I'm wondering that. Oh, no. Is there a D scale? I think he might be right. I think there is a D scale. Dude, I'm so fucked up right now because that Stevie William door thing. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're called like Spitfire Chargers, which is like a weird cruiser wheel, cruiser wheel they have, and I think those are in D. D scale? D durometer? Might have to go to uh, might have to go to their website. Durometer facts. That's almost pulling me in, bro. Try to look up Spitfire chargers, maybe. That's what you're saying? Yeah, I like just have a feeling that that's what they're in. My lady's texting me. I gotta take it. Sorry. Sorry to be rude. Oh, she's sending me epic pumpkin photos of herself. She's in a tree. <laughs> she must have went out with her friend and shot photos. Just sends me this photo. She's probably downstairs sending me this photo of her. Oh my god, <laughs> that's a pretty rad tree. It's a good yeah. spot for a picture. I mean, she's crushing the photos. Here, this just so the pod can see. This is my lady in a tree. Dash out, shout, shout out, Neo Beauty Bar. Hell yeah. It's my podcast, so I can do that shit, Evan. Your ringers off. Turn your phone upside down. I don't want you to look at it, bro. I was just kidding. <laughs> um, Spitfire chargers. Mm-hmm. Back to the mission of durometer. Learning about durometers. That's HD, bro. Yeah, that's what I was thinking of HD. ADHD. Whatever. ADHD. That's just the marketing ploy. Because isn't that a ADHD? No, AD. AD is uh, ADHD, attention def- deficit disorder. It's AD zero. I was confused. Yeah, ADHD. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's like sounds like the Oh you attention deficit disorder. But it's just eighty zero, which is zero H D. Is there any fucking ex exclamation how do you say it? Explanation, thank you. So it's just like 
We're gonna go to the website. Okay, let's fucking figure this out, dude. You vote? Are you voting? What the fuck? Me? Is it coming up? Uh, November, right? Yeah. November third is the deadline. Yeah, no. I thought about voting for uh, writing someone in because you can write someone in. Yeah, you can. Yeah. And then uh, so what skateboarder funny. could we ride in? Um, like a legend. Mm, we could write Tony Hawk in. He that would be sick. <laughs> Hell yeah. Tony Hawk. I mean, fucking, we got Trump. Tony Hawk could do the same. Probably do it just as better. good, if not better, than that motherfucker, <laughs> yeah, right? Exactly, dude. All right. Um. Back to the mission. Yeah, it's really soon. No matter who wins, there's going to be some crazy shit that happens. Oh, God. People <laughs> want that shit. It's like uh, yeah, bloodlust like, in America. Yeah. It's like people are willing this shit to happen with their thoughts, man. Mm. How many fucking people are out there just wanting to see bullshit and chaos and like... Crazy oh, news God, headlines. Dude. The whole thing's so crazy. You been holding steady, though? Yeah, for sure. It drives people... This shit can drive you crazy. You're just living your fucking life, and then you try to like stay informed, but then staying informed drives you in fucking sane. Yeah, and you feel like the world's upside down. So then you don't want to be informed because you're like, life's still going on. The birds are still tweeting out there, but yep. o- online you go online, it's like everything's falling apart and dying. It's mm. like insane, man. Everyone has their own, or every like media has their own fucking narrative spin so on it. Like- yeah. They're all looking at the same shit from different angles, Mm -hmm. and then they're fighting over it. Mm -hmm. Bullshit, bro. The attention economy, bro. That's what it is. We're in the attention economy. Where the technology and the companies are after your attention. Yeah, it's high stimulation. And they'll sell you anything. If you like bloodlust and you like controversy and hell, they'll sell you a special version of hell that you, just for you, my friend. You'll be able to curate it yourself by just finding the shit online and then putting it in your feed and then just building this little fucking construction of how the world is. Mm. Everyone can do that now. Everyone has the power to like curate the world and see exactly what they want to see. True. Whatever opinions and da da da. And like you can box yourself up. You don't have to. I mean, you could use it. It's just a tool, you know? Yeah. Like you could use it to learn and get past your ignorance too. You don't have to like be just ignorant with the phone and the social media but it's insane what's going on though i can't really find anything on here classics lock-in i've been riding spitfires for a long time autobahn spitfires damn forgot about autobahn yeah man they were sending me wheels for a long time damn recently i've been riding my homie uh rob has a company out of new york savage 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 wheels shout out hell yeah dudes are epic he hit me up about trying to give me a wheel but i turned it down because i haven't really been skating yeah i felt kind of like oh. a poser oh no way i wanted to have my name on a wheel i was like that's just be sick yeah that would be epic but like i haven't been like i'm like i feel i feel like i haven't been charging like i haven't been i haven't yeah. been charging on my board like mm-hmm. after good eye i haven't like focused on a video part or like charging so i was like can't do it shut yeah. it down yeah. i said at first i said yes though i was mm-hmm. like yeah and then I thought about it for a night, and I was like, no. I, <laughs> I want to. Yeah. It's a dream. That'd be a dream come true. Mm-hmm. But I was like, can't. I hit him back. I was like, sorry, man. I haven't been killing it. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, I wish I'd been out there. He was like, ah. He, but he was just like trying to show support, I think, because he yeah. watches all of like the podcast and the channel and mm-hmm. uh, totally. sees the brand and the boards and all the graphics. I think he's just trying to like connect so Kay. shout out to rob he's the man hell yeah, and rob. savage wheels are epic i put them on and i was like damn these are like feel really good nice hell yeah yeah it was like good feeling right off the bat they're exactly what i like they're like good street skating wheels cool not too hard either not too soft like right in the middle nailed it not too hard nope i wish i could find the fucking the ones you're talking about because we found them but it doesn't have no x x like explanation i don't know why that word just it. says 80 and then hd yeah so that's what I thought. I thought like the H. What did I say? The D was the yeah. Weird? You're the D, bro. The durometer. I don't know. I think it might just be a nickname or something. Fucking that doesn't weirdos. say it's the durometer. <laughs> Wait, let me actually look at the wheels. These are fifty eights. That's what you're you're riding. It yeah. seems fucking way too big, bro. I don't know. I'm Works. gonna see your board now. <laughs> Do you have to wear gloves like you're skating mega ramp when you yeah. ride that? Thing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're good. 
I don't know, dude. It's fun. Who, Maddie out there that gave that uh, question, man. I have no idea what's up with those wheels. If anybody out there knows what the Duro meter is on the Spitfire Chargers, let us know. Leave a comment. My friends, if you have any idea about that shit. Let's see. Do you ever rock rails on your board? I did, yeah. Yeah? What's the what's the advantages, disadvantages? Oof, I've never um, skated we, uh, rails, by the way. As far as like, so I think the first time I skated them, it was just like a certain spot. Um, they like did construction on a new DMV in my town. Nice. And there was like a a four stair with like a a ledge, like a hub a ledge maybe only like this tall, but like the ledge went on for like super long, like past the stair set. Yeah. That's sick. just like where you pop and it was probably like it was pretty long, just like a low long hubba. And Did you try it without rails? Is that Yeah, so it was like brand new. And I, like, spent mad time waxing it, but it just wasn't enough on, like, just wood. How much wax do you think you went through? A lot. I used, like, a lot. I went there, like, one time, like, when I wasn't even skating at, like, 9 o'clock at night just to, like, start waxing it. Because it's, like, that long. I totally... I saw one the other day that yeah. I was, like, we need to just buy those candles that are, like, hand and size. Just go for and it. And just make that shit happen. The problem is sometimes they need to be brick rubbed first. Yeah, that's, like, I didn't know that yet. Yeah. So then when I went to do it and I didn't have rails, it, like, still wasn't, like, slick enough. Yeah. So I got rails just for that one spot and then, like... Like, I think I just, like, kept skating them for a little while. You just literally screw them right into the deck, right? Yeah, I was yeah. always really bad at it, too. It's, like, kind of hard. Oh, to, like, get it in securely? Yeah. yeah. Like a power tool, maybe? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, uh, yeah, I skated rails for a bit. It's good Did for, like... Did you get the trick? Yeah, yeah. I nice. got a few different things on it. It was definitely... They definitely worked. Hell, yeah. But uh, I think, like, on normal, like, actual, like, rails on rails is, like, not fun. Like oh yeah like plas- metal on plastic yeah you some- feel like you're rollerblading a little bit <laughs> sounds the same yeah some dudes <laughs> do it and they make it look easy yeah but it looks it sounds it's just like scary I yeah don't know. it's probably so fast yeah it's probably like no resistance but if you get used to that yeah there's well, that phase too and everyone was doing like board slide to hurricane grind yep and like if you skated rails it was like super easy to do that one yeah because it's like it's like a middle ground where it yeah kind of tilts it into it maybe yeah you're like board slide and you just turn and like lift up your toes kind of like yeah. go like this with your feet Ooh, like i like, might have to get some rails just to learn that hurricane because yeah. i've never hurricane before yeah so i don't know it got like they like overdosed it and started doing like board slide to hurricane back to board slide to willy grind everything gets trended to death. yeah but All i don't know things must if you end. could do it it definitely looked like fun as shit so like yeah. whatever well you just heard me i'm fucking i've been fucking lazy <laughs> <laughs> not lazy but like just not charging it yeah my knee is so junked lately yeah i've just been like trying to stretch it and stuff i destroyed this thing so yeah. it's like it's like uh fucking hurts mm. but i've been skating like uh all the time yeah but like not doing tricks yeah just filming lines mm-hmm. and like skating with like beginners yeah pumping mini ramps and mm-hmm. stuff totally. so i've been active in skating which is nice you know? yeah as long as that's like you know and it's not so hard for me because like i did a lot of fucking shit i was stoked on that was gnarly so it's like yeah i it's miss f- it i miss like it a little bit but it's not like the worst thing yeah like as far as like going like big and doing gnarly shit It'd be hard to like top the past <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah well it's just like you get it you know you get like addicted to like doing tricks that are like scare you yeah when you get something good and you totally. see a spot and you're like i fucking can do this trick on mm-hmm. that spot and it would be yeah. fucking reckless but epic you know yeah that gets hard to let go of yeah because you're just like you know you could do it yeah it gets you juice that doesn't really go away mm-hmm. you have to ignore it basically yeah i'm 38 i'm not even that old there's dudes out there way older than me but like 38 on a skateboard i might as well be a fucking grandpa turtle you know yeah at least with a junk knee maybe because mm. there's people that are still killing it at 38 but regardless yeah there's also that some that just don't like do anything yeah either, so they never that. chose to either yeah just fucking phone it in <laughs> yeah. there's those dudes mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah but just like i think about that like i'm 38 and the impact would just destroy me whereas like 10 years ago not you know like you yeah. would, i'd be like see a big ass rail and be like i think i can grind that yeah I like, could let's do it, go. you know mm-hmm. now i see it i'm like i could do that might be a fucking ha- 
hell of a battle and I might get hurt, but I'm like, it just, I wouldn't be able to even get to that point now. Yeah. It's just like choosing your battles more because yeah. you still want to have fun and like, I don't want to destroy myself and, and then, just like literally just be like, that's it. You know? Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. d- d- like do damage, more damage would be rough for me. Mm. But when you're like fucking, I even, I think cause my knee, it's like, I wouldn't, I could still probably get more gnarly if my knee wasn't so destroyed, you know? Mm-hmm. Cause like other parts of my body feel good, you know? Yeah. But I'd say somewhere between like, 16 to fucking 35 yeah and if nowadays people are like staying in shape and don't have injuries and they're smarter so like maybe prolong that but for like gnarly street skating like Mm. that's the range totally before like you getting a little too old and might get hurt Mm -hmm. and like have to deal with real injuries you know that might take even longer but at like 25 it's like fucking i you just you heal up, you take yeah. the fucking injury, you deal with it, you heal up, you know you're going to be fine, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't know where I was going with any of that. <laughs> <laughs> just like, this is therapy hour with you guys. <laughs> yeah. How old are you? 22. Oh, must be fucking nice, Evan. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers to that, my <laughs> New graphics looking sick, my Hell friend. Yeah. <laughs> Coming November-ish. Mm. Assuming we have boards still, they're moving and going in and out really fast yes so, sir i'll put a sneak peek of evan's next board um sometime next week i believe oh yeah because i put one up of billy billy drown's next board mm-hmm. all right all right back to the mission dude maddie mcd from th- uh over 30 and still skating what stokes me out about you is that you wrote a fucking essay worth of stuff and yeah. you nailed it. You yeah. fucking nailed it. And the fact that you're over 30 and you're still daydreaming about skateboarding this much, so much that you had to write it out. <laughs> That's sick. And like, yeah, like he took it very serious. Yeah. And it's helping right now. Mm-hmm. So fucking legend out there. He's kind of almost getting his own episode. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. That, that, he's got good ones, though. Like he took this very serious. He probably wonders this shit to himself all day long. Yeah. I wonder this shit to myself, you know? Mm-hmm. So, oh, here we go. So decks, uh, back to the rails. Oh yeah. Yay, nay. What do you say? Good certain for things? certain spots. If you really need to make something slide, like with a long board or lip, but uh, or if you're strictly like tranny and you like to do long board slides on pool coping, it's good for that too. But besides that, I don't want to be jumping on no rails, like street rails with them on. <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah. I might need to get some rails though. It could be fun. If I find like a you decent could, like, curb and yeah. it's just going to go, right? Yeah, you could find a wicked long ledge and just board oh. slide it for 100 feet. That sounds amazing, but I f- I'm just like literally aging on the podcast. <laughs> I'm turning into that dude, you know? <laughs> literally, because I'm going to go get some rails now. I might even have some. I think you've earned it, though. Thanks, You know man. what I mean? <laughs> like, you've done a lot. I've seen videos online of dudes doing stuff with rails on, like curb stuff, and yeah. it looks so... I'm always jealous. I'm like, that's yeah. so fun. I don't yeah. know why I don't just do it. <laughs> Going for it. All right, next. VX versus flight. Ver- what the fuck is VX versus flight versus pop secret versus whatever the almost one is? Any other high end decks? Oh, so like the, the like each deck has like so, sort of like a marketing gimmick. Oh yeah, it's all bullshit for sure. You think so though? Yeah. I don't know. Except for the flight one. Is that what he meant? Yeah. Yeah. No. What's the, the flight one? The flight one is by uh, Pal Peralta. And they like literally don't break. Oh yeah, um, see, you can drive like a car over, over yeah. it. Yeah, and it doesn't break. So the, there's a trade off. That's the only worry is like, it's probably one ply though. I like when um, companies, if they're yeah. gonna do like an extra strong one, they try to do the one ply where it's like carbon fiber instead of like. Do you remember Lib Technology? Yeah, they mm-hmm. made like full carbon fiber skateboards, but mm-hmm. they always felt like. Didn't feel like Canadian maple, basically. Yeah. You know? And it sounded different, which is like... Not cool, yeah. Yeah, I just like... I don't know. But uh, some companies would do like one ply of that, basically. Yeah. Is that what the flight is? Should we look it up? Yeah, the flight is like... I don't know. You would think that like... That would be like crazy selling and that would like put them over the top as far as like sales because, you know sometimes kids only get like a board a deck a year from like their parents yeah so you'd think that would maybe be something that would like take off more than it did because they literally don't break yeah but i don't know it's just 
I don't maybe kids don't want to skate like the same brand or the same board forever. Yeah. Different brands and different pro skaters they like. Yeah. Definitely. A lot of skating is like people make good boards, you know, but like a lot of it is like style and like mm-hmm. you're like where you buy from brands that you like like and yeah. has the same feel and like Yeah. But uh I've the uh, David from OMF um who we were just with who yeah. I brought along. He had a he flight. He was ripping deck. that day. Yeah. Yeah, it was good He's to see him skating, it. man. He uh he had a flight deck and um I'm pretty sure like he fucked around and like definitely had his friend like drive over it like with the tire just back up over it. Just to see, test it out. Yeah, it doesn't break. Doesn't break, bro. Doesn't. Which is weird. I don't know. That is weird. It's cool, but I don't know. It's not the same as a normal skateboard, I guess. Let me see. The fiberglass can cause your skin to itch. <laughs> That's, I'm looking is that at, Pal? I'm looking at a skateboard review. That's fucking hilarious. Yeah, that's Of the it. Powell flight board. Um, flight sick. deck is lighter than anything I've ever skated before. Um, yeah, I'm not, I don't know if I really like light, super light decks. Yeah, some people like... I know Sean really likes a light setup these days, which makes sense. Like, that helps you to, like, flip your board and do stuff. They said once it starts to wear, the fiberglass can cause your skin to itch. So it must be one layer. It holds up to the reputation, though. So yeah, it won't. It won't. Uh, it's got an extra layer, basically. Yeah. This dude Charlie Blair used to skate for Pal Peralta, or maybe he still does. He was. He used to be one of my faves. Yeah, he ripped, dude. Yeah, he was Charlie. just like a total madman. My homie Deville. Shout out to Deville, man. Yeah. He he's like I believe he's still team brand manager Definitely. over there. He did a lot of stuff with Charlie. Deville's the man. He had a really fucked up blunt kickflip. He would just do it on like the most hectic stuff. Yeah. A couple dudes are like that. Yeah. Ben Hatchell has like a fucked up one too. Yeah, they can just Phil... blunt flip like 10 foot walls. Yeah, Lejansky, <laughs> Phil Lejansky. Yo, that's the sound of the Spurs police. Shirt? I wonder if the ho- if the pod could hear that one. The Dude. F- oh, man. I got to bring it up. Um, yeah. You see the video I shared of some kid in Providence? That uh, got plowed over. I did see that. Yeah, dude's in a coma now, and like apparently, like a good amount of people that I know of, like. Should I look it up? Yeah. Let's get to it. We should. Yeah. It's a current event, dude. Yeah. I saw the video. That's definitely excessive force for someone dude. just riding around on a fucking moped. Yeah. You don't have to hit him with the moped, like on a yeah. human level. Mm-hmm. I don't give a fuck if he's breaking the law or whatever. You don't like. Let's like let's look it up because what if he had weapons on him or something? So then yeah. that changes the game. If he's driving around pointing a gun around, then you might want to hit him with a car. Yeah, no. I don't fucking know though. In like Providence, they just like a bunch of like dudes just like there's like a pack of like a bunch of street bikes and mopeds. They're just like casually breaking the laws. They're just like I, riding I don't even know because a lot of them like apparently the kid that got like hit by the cop, his moped was legal. Oh, really? He's probably just at the fucking, there's like 200 like dudes on bikes just like, you know, kind of That's what over. I feel. Like it's like the cop was just excessive force and yeah. then he fucking really I think that someone. kid was like at the back of the, at the back of the pack, you know what I yeah. mean? And the cop just like was probably like super, I don't know. This is all like, hearsay. We don't really know because we're going to look it up, but like. It's still just so fucked. Yeah. Like, Here, I'm going to read this real quick. This is about the, the Powell deck though. The pros are. Can land with both feet in the middle without breaking the board. What? Question mark. <laughs> that could be a good thing, but it also like if you do that or you it let the board good. <laughs> or if you let a car run your board over, it's gonna fuck the shape up. Yeah. Like you're just not gonna it's not gonna be the same board. True. Especially it'll you just don't want that. Sometimes you land <laughs> you too hard on your board that. and it like w- will warp, you know? Like Chris Pop and it lasts for ages. Chris Pop is a good thing, as you know. Crisp. Very stiff, but not too stiff. Sounds dirty. Oh <laughs> Lightweight and responsive. Don't really know if I care about. I don't really like my setup too light. Yeah, me neither. I, I need prefer a heavier, little bit, of like, little bit, yeah. bit of meat, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, great rebound and snap. Very, very durable. Lasts long, longer than any deck I previously skated. That could be a good thing, but that also can be like at some point you're just gonna want to skate a different board. Yeah, that's what too I'm much saying. of a good thing is never yeah. a good thing, you know, like. Skateboards are meant to be destroyed. It's skate yeah. and destroy. Yeah. I'm not mad at it, though. Like, if you're thinking about it and you're like, I want to ride a deck forever. 
<laughs> but, but you just gotta give it away after a while. That's yeah. what I would do. Like mm-hmm. if I just need a different setup. Yeah. I just did that. I don't even know where my trucks and wheels are. Oh I just God. gave it away. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> I was at a park and who fucking needed it? Oh, Marty broke his board. I was oh, like, no just shit. take it and then like Oh, I still have the trucks and wheels though. <laughs> but I gotta I should just give them away. They're cracked. Yeah. They're cracked, but someone could use those motherfuckers. Mm-hmm. Um all right, back to the the pros list. We'll get to the cons list as well. Um, great rebound and snap. Very very durable last launch. A very thin deck. See, again, I don't know if I really. I don't. That's not a selling point to me. I don't know if I want my deck like too thin. Yeah. I don't. I don't know. Some about seven ply Canadian maple is like so timeless and classic. It's mm-hmm. hard to like pervert it and make it thinner. But yeah. they do like six ply decks. I've seen like. Odd. People, like, back in the day when I was coming up, they had every version of everything. There was, really? like, all these different middle plies and, like, extra strength and, like... Yeah. It was an awesome thing at the time, but it was still, like, kind of gimmicky, you know? Yeah. Although I think it works, though. Like, I'm not going to lie. Like, this deck probably doesn't snap. No, definitely not. And you'll probably get a longer life out of it, mm-hmm. so... Um, the tail is about 1.5, 2x stronger. That kind of goes with just, like, it lasting. It doesn't snap in half tail won't snap now they're just saying the same shit different variants <laughs> no need to break it in <laughs> what? Jesus. uh mellow concave that's the selling point all right cons the graphic is gone in a second but who cares right uh once it starts to wear the fiberglass can cause an itch yeah i don't know if i'd like to be picking it up like that yeah if that's like a weird texture razor tail just like any other board but it takes a bit longer it's rather expensive i love to buy new decks longer lasting decks prevent me from buying new stuff not really once the tail wears shark bite will have a whole new meaning Oh, it sounds like you get the fucking razor. I mean, the ska- snake bite. But I, yeah. yeah, I call it snake bite. A shark bite. Come on, bro. Come at me. <laughs> fucking. He uh, should have. They need to put that on tactics or CCS. <laughs> this is skateboarder headquarters. Oh, geez. Uh, okay, that's enough of that. Oh, but they say, why is it special? Oh, God. All right, enough. <laughs> Let's look this up. Um, What should I type? Prov, moped. Providence, yeah, moped, police, yeah, something like that. It's like blowing up for 2020. sure. No, I saw it online. Moped crash involving a Providence police cruiser leads to protest. Yeah, as it should, I think. Yeah, so the full video, my friend, I shared like the video, just like the end, but there's like just a full pack you know it's just like dudes on the street bikes and mopeds maybe like a hundred of them that slowly go by and that kid's like at the end of the pack and then you saw it the cop just fouls them on the turn because the kid's probably like you know i don't want to be trailed by this cop i'm gonna take this right cop follows them just fucking smashes in the back of them all right i got a video up there's also like a no chase order too in providence which that? means you can't like chase people. Yeah, the cops aren't supposed to like chase people. I'm not sure if it applies to cars, but I know for a fact it doesn't apply to bikes. Why is the video edited? All right. Plus, uh, that kid's bike was legal too. Some girl that was in my grade, um, her cousin, um, this girl I know that takes pictures. It's like her friend's brother, and then Jeremy Dupree, who like I skate with, who you know, he knew him, he knows him somehow. So it's kind of crazy that like a few people like kind of know who he is. It's yeah. not just like random. It's like you know, kind of like real life, like yeah, happening in like people's worlds, like that I know. Yeah, that's wild. Let's yeah. let's see what this is. Whether it hit the moped. Well, no, I'm watching the video. <laughs> it's not as obvious as you think. Yeah, true. He literally hits a wall. Hold on. Ready? Ready? Watch. I'm not saying I don't fucking know, but the video is not as clear cut. Watch. Oh, did I miss it? Sorry, my friends. 
here. the video goes on too and the the dude who filmed it was like yo why'd you have to hit him like that like that was fucked up oh that's right i yeah. think i heard that too the video is not so clear cut like if i'm being on yeah. if i'm being 100 percent obvious i mean obvious honest what he's panning the camera and you look over and you hear the noise which yeah. instantly made me imply the cop hit him yeah that's what i thought and then he and he, then you see him hitting a wall at the same Dude. time as the sound. Yeah. So I can't like you can't really tell if it's the cop hit him or if he hit it in the because the cop like jolts too. Look at see what I'm saying? Like that's yeah. not that wasn't. <laughs> frame by frame, dude. Legit, right? Oh my god. <laughs> They're just smashing motorbikes with fucking. The with part that sucks is that that kid's was legal that got hit. Yeah, but they're kids. You don't fucking hit kids, bro. Yeah. Kids make mistakes. That's part of being a kid or being young is like yeah. being slightly reckless and figuring it out. It's not, it shouldn't be okay. That's it doesn't why we have warrant laws. a fucking hit. Yeah. <laughs> if he hit him, that's fucking put all that shit back in your mouth because it looked like he could have hit him, you know? Yeah. Like, I wasn't there. Dude. <sighs> Crazy. I don't know. That's a, that's a situation because we have cameras now. Yeah. That it's like up to debate, really, where you're like, you have to like frame by frame, like you said, mm -hmm. dude. It's so fucked up, man. Yeah, I don't know. When I heard the siren like ten minutes ago, I was just like automatically that just popped into my head. Jamal Gonzalez. Yeah, some girl I was in my grade, uh, Olivia Gonzalez, her cousin, I guess. She and like, he's in a coma. It. Yeah. So nice. <laughs> it's dude. so fucked. When life gets real, man. Yeah, for real. That's why it's like, shit's fucked up, but like, you gotta, life's about risk and uh, assessing risk. You mm -hmm. gotta like, gotta be careful, you know? But fucked up shit can just happen. Life is just dangerous in general, you know? Yeah. You only increase the chance the more you're being reckless, but not saying he was, but like, just made me think of that, you know? Like, cause mm -hmm. I wasn't there, I don't fucking know. But like, in life, it's just like. It's already dangerous. No one gets out alive, you know. Yeah. Like everyone passes away, and then along the along the way, we can like get even more reckless and dangerous at times, you know. It's just something to remember. I always think of that shit. Same with the cops and shit. Like the whole shit is everyone's fighting each other and hurting each other. It's like this is real life. Like this yeah. is not entertainment, you motherfuckers. <laughs> like I get that. Like I don't know. It's just like violence is definitely never the answer, though. You know. Yeah. It's just like um. We're in a crazy time right now. Mm. I think because people want change, you know? Like oh, we, yeah. We've had the same old bullshit for so long that we all know is wrong and there's things that we could do better and be better at mm -hmm. collectively. And, like, we there's things we can adjust that we, we just don't because of political reasons, you know? Mm -hmm. It's like... And everyone has cameras and phones can express themselves. So there's, like... Everybody can join the shit show party, you know, where it's like there's a good cause in here somewhere, but then everyone comes in and it's yeah. just like turns into so many different motivations as to why people want things done a certain way, you know? Totally. It fucking murkies the water till you can't tell like what should we do and what shouldn't we do. Mm -hmm. I think we're not meant to be this connected. Like we, it takes a long adjustment pyramid. Yeah. Period, you know? Definitely. Yeah, it's like what we're seeing in the world. A lot of mm -hmm. the chaos is just fucking new novelty and just like entanglement with technology and people's emotions and uh psychological states you know yeah. just seeing the full range of our own mm -hmm. humanity you know it's a big big reflection to all of us yeah the internet it's all of us collectively putting ourselves digitizing ourselves in some aspect or digitizing the experience the human experience you mm -hmm. know it's fucking overwhelming yeah we are each have a lot of power yeah. To control our own thoughts and our own day and our curate our own lives and our own perceptions and how we're perceived and like everybody has that capability now. Even mm -hmm. if they're fuck young kids have to learn to deal with this shit. Yeah. Which is intense, you know? Mm -hmm. Uh Woo. All right. 
Sorry. Sorry for that one. That rant. I don't know if I should be sorry, but sorry. Nice. Sometimes it's so heavy, you just like can't really talk about this shit. It's hard <laughs> to get it out too with what I'm fi- thinking and feeling, you know. Yeah, for sure. A lot of these conversations are hard, hard to have. Like this I'm motorcycle one. Up. You need some help over there? Damn, I like that technique. We just fixed it. Beautiful. My Can face we... was like partially. Just put it on the oh, side. Even that way. Good, baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> Evan's taking the mic down. It's good right there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I need to buy a new boom arm. That's for sure. Look at that shoelace. That's a skateboarder trying to fix a boom arm with a shoelace. That's the coolest way you could try. Fuck yeah, right bro. Now. I just don't want to admit that it's broken. I want to admit that I just don't know how to fix it. Oh, you it's know? just this one? Yeah, this one works beautiful. I don't have any problems. You can adjust this thing as much as possible. But I like I got it and it never worked. Oh shit! But I like there was no real instructions with it. It was just kind of like hold it where you want it for thirty seconds yeah. and it'll stick. And this one did that and that one never did. So ah. I was like, I could never really admit that it was broken. All right, we did the boom the motorcycle man. That sucks, dude. I hope that Jamal is okay. Oh wait, there's a GoFundMe. Oh, there we go. That. Let's yeah. plug that. Definitely, man. Rather, rather. Whether right or wrong, like, dude is going to have hospital bills yeah, and whatnot. Doesn't, totally. It doesn't matter, you know? It's like real life catches up to people, man. Mm-hmm. What is it? Like Jamal Gonzalez? Probably, yeah. Probably his GoFundMe probably just comes up or something. It's spelled J-H-A-M-A-L. Yeah, it sounds right. Jamal. Medical bills. GoFundMe. Yep. Oh, excuse me. It shows a photo of him hyped with his bike. Jamal Gonzalez was slammed off his moped Sunday night by a police officer and his SUV cruiser into a wall. Jamal has a long road ahead of him in terms of recovery. Um, they're going for fifty grand. They're doing. They got twenty two grand so far. That's hell yeah. They're on their way, man. Five hundred ninety three people just donated. Updates today. Hey, everyone. Thank you so much for your donations. We still need to, your help to get Jamal back in fighting condition for all those concerned about the legitimacy of this GoFundMe. I work with Jamal, and he is a friend of mine. I have been in touch with his fiance Kendra, and have reached out to his parents. All the money goes to Jamal for his recovery. Thank you again for your support. Hell yeah. All right, that one's going in the description. Cheers. Yeah. And uh, after the pod, I'll kick him some dough for sure. Hell yeah. I like to be able to do that when I can. Yeah. Why not? Yeah, dude. There's like a... I've been in skating for so long. It's like sometimes I see GoFundMe of just like... Oh, yeah. Like real life happens to someone and Mm -hmm. you're like, you've been following people's lives through skating and they're like, have some real shit happen and got a GoFundMe. I'm like... You stay with something. You skate for so long and you see the shit. Totally. People get hurt. It's like, damn, I don't know why the text is so big on that. Going in the description, my friends. I'll leave that one open and get rid of that page. You just know some homies? that he Did he skate or he just rode bikes? Um, I think he's like into dirt biking or sh- that type of stuff, like all types of motorcycles. Uh, and do you ever ride indies? Oh yeah, it's only truck I. Oh really? Yeah. Do you ever ride the uh forged hollows? Nah, I don't really like hollows. So when he writes, he wrote totally worth it or just cool because you can smoke grass through the axle. <laughs> you can. Can you? Yeah. You totally <laughs> Someone did can. that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice. <laughs> Classic. I don't know. I guess it's worth it if you want a light truck. Yeah. It's like solid hanger. Yeah. Metal all the way through. Fucking metal. <laughs> Fucking metal, bro. For sure. Um, why haven't I heard much from Venture, Reissue Decks? How do you feel about reissues? They're sick. I fuck with it. Nice. I like it sometimes. I hate when it gets too played out. Yeah. If that's all a company's relying on is yeah, reissues, yeah. then that annoys the shit out of me. Yeah, no. But Definitely. if they're doing sick shit and they bring back the heritage and they're like doing it and working together, it's sick. Yeah, heck yeah. Um, let me see. Just a gimmick or to get us guys the wall hangers. Hold on. 
indie best damn skate tool and why. I don't know about that one. Do you know anything about their skate tool? Mm mm. What about speed rings and bearing spacers? You ever use those? I don't use spacers. Nah. Yeah. No. Like spacers in the middle of the wheel, like the or like the washer. Oh yeah, I don't use like the tiny washer or the spacer. The space there's a spacer that goes in between the two bearings. Oh yeah, no. You ever seen that one? Yeah, I have. Yeah. I don't even know where to fucking get those if you wanted them. Yeah, I don't know. I've never really used them either. <laughs> no. You don't use the washers though on the bearings. No. Interesting. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think it does anything. <laughs> I mean, obviously it does. There's like a little. Is it obvious? Or do they just throw it on there because they're like, yeah, it's a good idea, but they they don't know. I guess it just. There's usually puts a two. space in between the end of like, you know, the, rod. the bearing and the bolt. Yeah. And tighten it down. Yeah. Maybe it makes it smoother or something. I think it makes it smoother, but I always thought it doesn't do shit. Yeah. There's <laughs> two though on each axle, right? Yep. One for the inside and then one, one for, for the, the outside, outside where yeah. you screw the nut on. But yeah, I don't know. They're just like a pain to keep track of and like, I don't know. It's, you know, I think I just like. You never... always lose them. Yeah. I always lose them. When you change your wheels, you'll lose at least one or two yeah. and you're like, fuck. And then yeah. it's like out the window from there. Exactly. What about, do you put, leave a space when you tighten your wheel? Like not yeah. too tight? You mm -hmm. leave a little like. And like. Uh, yeah, yeah right. I leave that definitely. I feel like skateboard trucks used to slip a lot more back in the day. Oh, like, you mean like it would slip? You ever have the axle slip on your skateboard? No. Really? You mean the wheels slip right off? Um, no. <laughs> like, uh, the axle that runs through the hanger. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you slip leave out? a gap, if you leave like a gap or something, mm -hmm. and you land primo a lot. Oh. It'll slip and then it'll tighten your wheel up and you have to bang the other side back oh. and it'll even out. It's never happened to me. Really? No. Dude, back in the day, my axles used to slip all the time. Either I was landing primo like crazy because mm -hmm. I was learning tricks and shit mm -hmm. or trucks just got better. But they mm. used to slip all the time. Yeah, I don't think I've ever had an axle slip. And I would just ride them out because it's like you just flip it around, bang the axle back yeah, the other way. It. It's just like little little movement. And then mm -hmm. the wheel rolls again and until you land. Primo again. Yeah, primo again. Huh. Yeah, no. It's crazy. That's yeah, so funny. Yeah, that's like one of the, the thing, like non-slip axle. Like that's always like a, now that I think of it, companies write that sometimes. Um. Okay, we're going to switch. He wrote a whole another page, but we're going to switch because yeah. he got heavy air airtime um any diys are stoked on lately uh that you can think of besides omf was kind of well it's like yeah kind of diy up the top um plim plim side oh yeah that was fun the one up in burlington is cool too but they took down like the big quarter that was there in vermont did you just get that yeah the place the spot's called barriers it's like right next to the burton bowl yeah and um it kind of has like um, it's just like a really long wall of barriers with a bunch of different stuff like poured up. To um, skate or renegade style. Yeah. Is it like pretty decent? You can skate or is Yeah, except there's like a cool like six foot quarter that my homie Blaine and his friends built. It was just like I didn't have coping or anything. It was just a nice steep like six foot like with no deck. Yeah. But the town or whoever tore that down, so now it's just like all like the the wall of barriers and the different trannies poured up to it. But it's still sick. I would yeah. still recommend it. Hell yeah. If but you're ever up there. Was it too big? Is that why they probably shut it down? Um, was it the biggest thing there? Yeah, it was big and like, I don't know what happened. I think someone was just like, oh yeah, um, they built that and then they started building something else. And I don't know, some people said maybe they should have built that, left it. Yeah. And then, like, start it again another time. Yeah. You know, so it's not so much, like, Too obvious. in and out. Because it's, like, kind of, there's, like, a neighborhood right next to it and stuff. Yeah. That's crazy. But either way, yeah. I'd say check out New Bedford. The, yeah, Plymside's definitely sick. Plymside's good as well. That's Plymouth. But uh, go to New Bedford and skate oh, uh, yeah, under the bridge. Yeah. Cabana Overpass. Oh, uh, yeah. DIY sick, too. Um, let's see. Vandalism and graffiti that has nothing to do with skateboarding on skate parks. Uh, you have a you you have, you've had a chain like a a love hate relationship with a uh, graffiti because the park. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I like it on like 
you know, the backs of quarter pipes and like all that stuff. But depending upon the type of spray paint, it just makes the quarter pipe like slippery, you know? Oh yeah. 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 If you like just like revert or like, you know, turn out of a trick, um, depending upon the paint, it can make it like too slick and it's like not fun. Yeah. (laughs) But yeah, I don't know. There's like some lame tags and like the bowl of OMF and like, I don't know, it was bound to happen. And I was like bummed out the first time it happened, but I don't know. I don't really care anymore. just got to take it with a grain of salt. Like, oh, look, a shitty tag, like funny, whatever. (laughs) But you you guys all like helped get that thing built and you saw it brand new without some shitty tag on it. Yeah. So the first time (laughs) it happened, I was wicked tight about it. I get that. Yeah. Cause it's but, like um, kind of like who the fuck is this person just to do some shitty fucking thing that we all have to look at for yeah. hours or see it and be like exactly like a big dick or something. You're yeah, like, oh, God, dude. <laughs> but there's like that cool like you know the rink part. There's that inline hockey like board that goes along the whole way. Yeah, and I like seeing stuff on that. Yeah, yeah. The elephant on that corner. Oh, that one's cool too. I like that one. Yeah, it's way sick. Oh, yeah. Cause it's like you can tell that person was like just. It just looked like they were taking their time to do something fucking yeah. sick looking. Yeah, I'm not against it really. Yeah. Unless it's too slick. Sometimes I think it's funny. I went to another park the other day. I was like teaching skate lessons at Mansfield. So it's like a beginner, like 12, yeah. 12 year old girl, maybe 12 year old boy, like little kid just like learning to skate. And there's some like, they just write some fucking fucked up shit. Yeah, some <laughs> shit where you like, you're with a 12 year old trying to teach him to skate and they're like reading it and then they're looking at you. And I was like, don't know what to tell you. <laughs> People write some gnarly yeah, shit. Yeah, it is kind of, I like that <laughs> or too. Or see a drawing of something gnarly. You're like, oh, I, don't, I can't explain that. It's, it's not... cool just because it's kind of like only at the skate park. I feel like yeah. that happens and it's like word. <laughs> like you see cunt written, written yeah. somewhere. You're like, oh man. <laughs> I saw one this weekend at like Plainfield Skate Park. That's the one with the half pipe and then like kind of the. Connecticut? Like, yeah yeah we went the racetrack around yeah Yeah, that one's pretty sick it's super fun someone wrote um just like so and so like a first and last name is a pedophile oh man oh jesus christ bro (laughs) yeah it was like john something yeah and i was like damn it's like that's fuck that's heavy one graffiti blood really on. bad shitty joke or like really unfortunate i hope it's not true <laughs> yeah fucking uh graffiti always blows my mind it's mm. like battle like people battle over yeah putting words and yeah. things and like mm-hmm. territory definitely culture collides not into vandalize vandalism at the skate park either yeah, no. Just because, like, I usually, like, if you want to go get crazy, go skate street spots. You yeah. Know? Someone's going to try to kick you out. You might have to mm-hmm. run from the cops, like, yeah. hop a fence. Like, yeah. You fucking go street skate somewhere. But at the skate park, it's just, like, I go there, and I usually just want to skate. I yeah, wanna, like, fucking totally. have to deal with all the other shit. That, like, like skate park's kind of, like, you just go to have fun. Sometimes mm-hmm. I just go skate by myself. I don't need, like, someone doing some sketchy shit where I'm just trying to fucking live over here. Mm-hmm. It's like, Jesus Christ. Go do that in the streets. <laughs> For sure. Um, okay. I got to change this page because I keep staring at it. <laughs> um, at what age did you really progress in skateboarding? Oh, damn. I'm trying to fuck with it Things again. drifting away. It's here, I'm going to help you. Mid-podcast right here. We're going to try to make this I mean, this it's kind of like... Get the fuck out of here. Man. It's not good you like that. Dangling, bro. <laughs> no dangles. <laughs> Um, I don't know. It's kind of like. Oh, yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. Keep going. Go ahead. Hold that right where you want it. <laughs> what age? Do you want me to go first? I'll go. Yeah, I'll go. Yeah, I'll go. Uh, what age did you, like, start to get good at skating? I'd say, like, if I was going to be honest. Oh, wait, I should probably be on the mic. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'd say, like, probably six, seven. If Anthony were to be. No, um, if I was going to be honest about it. Because I'd have to really think. I you think know, uh, and, like you gotta be like there's a there's a point where like you gotta be like think you're like okay I'm doing I'm blowing my mind right here I'm progressing. I think for me, uh, you remember that place Greenside that was in Rhode Island? Yeah. The indoor park. I do. I do. Uh, that place had like a lot of really like everything there was like huge like. Uh, I just wanna see if it was Oh uh, yeah, everything there was huge like. 
There's a bunch of nine foot quarter pipes and all the rails were like really big. Greenside, where was it? In Middletown, like kind of near where Skater Island was. That's so wild that there was another park in Middletown. Yeah, like it not, 10 was minutes. Was it associated with the same people at all? Mm-mm. It was Eddie Hall and his family doing Skater's Island. Yeah, no, uh, this dude, KJ. KJ Alves. Skateboarder? Uh, yeah. Nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, How old were you when you started going there? Probably sixth grade, and it closed by the time I was like 15 or 16, so I skated it for like three years. That park was so gnarly. Yeah, that's It was so like, big. It was all funneled down into like, it was exactly. like a pit. It was mm-hmm. a pit of a skate park, and it was yeah. big banks and quarter pipes. And like, yeah. Yeah. I feel like, I don't know, that, in, that park influenced my skating like a lot. <laughs> I could kind of tell. <laughs> yeah. I could kind of tell. Everyone, I don't know. When I hear people talk about it, I didn't realize how much everyone disliked it because of how big it was, but I thought it was so fun. <laughs> I never, not that, I didn't really dislike it, but yeah. I was intimidated by it. Yeah, no, if you yeah. were learning, it definitely was a terrible place to yeah, learn. kids would be at the bottom of yeah. that fucking pit of hell. Yeah. You were bombing down that dude, shit. Dude, like, it was You could sick. Smoke, you smoke someone on that. I don't remember, but probably. Yeah, dude, you had to have. Yeah. It was a day where you probably cried about getting cl- colliding with someone. For yeah. Sure. Man. That's when you started feeling like you were getting pretty good? Totally, for sure. Nice. That's yeah. rad. Just because there was like big stuff i never skated and i like started to learn and i was like whoa yeah this is fun no for real um sick man mine would be i feel like i was 16 so Mm -hmm. i started when i was like just turning 13 yeah so crazy i always forget that yeah when did you start like 10 damn yeah that's a big three year difference Mm -hmm. right there for sure for some reason it's a lot a lot of time between 10 and 13 yeah <laughs> um i think when i was 16 i started being like feeling like i could film clips out in the streets mm-hmm. totally you know and yeah I was like starting to see some progress and being like i got kickflips over a gap or i got front 180 or back 180 mm-hmm. and like i had practiced it all on flat and shit and like yeah shit i learned on curbs and then going to the skate park and trying to learn it there and then like really started to progress around like 16 because then mm-hmm. you start learning i like started skating handrails a lot too so yeah learn all the staples on a handrail mm-hmm. that's when i started progressing hell yeah um lives East skate park probably mm-hmm. like such a diy park super yeah. rough and like mm-hmm. not diy but like a prefab park yeah and just um i learned like so many tricks there and i was like dude i'm fucking getting pretty good at skating yeah like Mm -hmm. go there and just film a whole bunch of shit i think filming like really gives you a game totally yeah like sponsor me tapes Mm -hmm. and like see all the tricks and see the progress i definitely agree yeah that's so gnarly that green side dude (laughs) it makes sense though you love big banks and like fucking gnarly speed yeah totally like get like having a little rush Mm -hmm. mm-hmm Uh, this one I just hold on. Maybe let me see if I skip these. Oh, and he said an age you would consider your best time in skating. Mm. You're only twenty two, bro. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be kinda hard, but Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know. You want me to ask into that one? Yeah, sure. I'm like the sob story over here. <laughs> Grandpa Sheffler. <laughs> Let's talk about the veteran glory days. <laughs> Don't laugh too hard, oh motherfucker. <laughs> um, yeah, like 26, 27, 28. Damn. Because cool. like even 30, up to, even longer. Mm-hmm. But like those are like the days where like you've had video parts. You've learned a bunch of tricks. You've traveled a bit. Mm-hmm. You can work on projects. Yeah. You're not just like random. Yeah. And like you're a fucking adult. Mm-hmm. You're a fucking man. Yeah. Maybe. There's <laughs> a lot of bitches out there. <laughs> you include me on certain days. <laughs> but yeah, like 26 to 30, I'd say. Sick. Best years. Because I had a vision of like, by that time I forged a style with skating. Mm-hmm. Like, I have worked at my skating for so long, and I tried to go with what worked for my style and my ability, you know? Yep. When you're younger, too. I mean, you started fucking three years. I feel like skating's speeding up, though. Kids go mm-hmm. through this shit so fast now. Yeah. It's amazing. Mm-hmm. Same. Did you have an answer? You want to look back and be like, I was the best at fucking... Dude, I know what you should say is the well, OMF contest days. Oh, uh, those were... Those were, were like glory days. Yeah, yeah, those were fun. Glory days. Just like, 
<laughs> the annual summer contest. Hell it was yeah. like run style. So like Way just sick. you. Yeah. And most years I would, my whole thing, I was always like really good at being consistent. I would just land everything and then like almost just keep going. Yeah. Like Andy Anderson like, well, it for a little bit, but yeah. not too long. Yeah. They're like, well, he's the only one who stayed on the whole fucking time, you know? Yeah. I would that just try to stay on. Yeah. Yeah. I would, that's what you should do in a contest. Yeah. I feel. Yeah. Because that's what people want to see is like, the you can land all yeah, that shit. Totally. Yeah. yeah. So that was fun. But you were just a hog, probably. You are just long, glorious. Oh, runs. my God. Is that what Andy does? Kind of. He did yeah. it at Tampa Pro. He did it way too long. I didn't go that long, but I would just go until, like, I fell. Yeah. Kind of, which would only be, like, 20 or 30 seconds past, like, the mark. Oh, yeah. You got to do that. Yeah. yeah. But I never he, thought you t- did overtime. Yeah, but then he did, like, two minutes of overtime. Yeah, he so just kept going. Stop. They were, like, calling other people's names yeah. and shit. I'm like, dude, it's kind of getting weird at this point. Like, maybe you should stop. <laughs> a little cringy. Yeah. Amazing, amazing, mm-hmm. but still a little cringe. <laughs> That's hilarious. Tyler T. Shout out, my G. That was a good question, man. Yeah. Thanks for that one. I really, that, like, I was traveling, too, around that time, like, going to epic spots, like, 26 to 30, Mm -hmm. and, like, that was, like, why it feels like my glory days, because I was going to all these new places and filming video parts, like, Mm -hmm. traveling specifically to to go to these places to film video parts for projects. Yeah. Like, that was, like, that's why I felt, like, because I was really pushing myself Mm -hmm. and doing shit that I dreamt of. Yeah. I was, like, working at these tricks that I was dreaming to do, and then, like, it you know, when you find the Comes spot together. with that thing. Yeah, like, for that, what you've been trying. Yeah, there was like that four-year span, maybe that was like the, definitely felt the best to me. Birdhouse days too, like I was riding for Birdhouse, New York, World, it was all that. It was just like focused on skating and filming and going to six spots and just churning out video parts or shooting interviews. I used to love shooting interviews. Mm-hmm. That's something like people doesn't happen as often now yeah you know? like checkouts and interviews yeah and checkouts and full-length interviews yeah is like way sick mm-hmm. we did check out in the only knee mag nick bar oh yeah nick oh yeah i wonder who's gonna get this one. Oh shit number two you mm. have the cover bro yeah Some covers out here cover Heck boy yeah. that was <laughs> definitely cool for sure oh yeah we put our florida trip in there yeah that's why we did the mag because we were like reminiscing like to me that used to be an epic thing is like as an amateur skater it was like how can i like put the work in and show that i'm putting work in we'd go shoot checkouts in every magazine yeah try to link up with a photographer from certain magazines that way you had to check out in every mm-hmm. every scene yeah we I mean? should pick someone like we should like fucking it's open know. right now yeah i don't think anyone ha- we have anyone picked so we could yeah. do whatever yeah what should see. we do just pick you guys. You getting ideas? Yeah, Let's I have do Eli. ideas. Will Eli be down? Ah, uh, that'd be kind of sick, dude. What the fuck happened? I did him up. Look at what happened to my ring. Jesus my Christ, ring bro! You look like a zombie finger over here. That hurts. I'm taking these off. You got fatter while you were wearing them. <laughs> that's what happened, dude. Damn, that sucks for me. <laughs> I don't think Eli would do it. No? No. Son of a bitch, bro. I could try. He would be down. We just have to shoot one epic photo and give him like a couple questions. Yeah, true. He'd be down. Yeah. He, he could, could wear like a leather vest or something. Be yeah, sick. Yeah, and he can step on a board whenever and do a trick. Yeah, so it doesn't even have it. to be anything crazy. It just have to be something steezy. Yeah. He's got yeah. something steezy. Definitely. Gage would be a sick checkout too. That would be super. That'd be funny. a fun one. Yeah, his his would be a skate photo, but also a lifestyle portrait. Yeah, so like, totally. Have to. Have right? to. Yeah. <laughs> How's your finger doing, dude? It's like, it's, isn't that weird? Let me let me touch it. Bring it over. Dude, it looks all raw under there. Yeah, I don't know. I put the second ring on like. I wear this braided one. It wasn't breathing enough, maybe. I guess. And then I put the other one on top of it, and it's been like the two on one finger for like like five days. Now. Too much. Too maybe much. It's bro. Too much. It'll be okay, though. You have an allergic reaction? <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? It's, it's itchy. itchy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, dude, this dude's asking about wheels. We covered wheels. Sorry, bro. We beat Durometer into the ground. <laughs> Durometer. Um, Dan Stefan, shout out. Remember counting how many tricks you can do? Remember when you stopped counting? Have any ideas of how, how many you got? The only time I really counted was like 
when I was doing kickflips, mm. you count like fakie, nolly, switch, regular. Yeah. And then up, over, like how many different variants of certain tricks you could do. You yeah, know? totally. Yeah. That's how I counted. Like um, backside, frontside, how many backside tricks versus frontside. Oh, uh, okay. Side. Word. Yeah. That makes like sense. Smith grinds. Mm-hmm. I always wanted to learn each trick in all the stances somehow, you know? Yeah. Never like did straight a... four, straight eight. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. You ever do a switch backside Smith grind? Fuck no. No? No. I bet Shegan has. I, no, like I don't think do he it. has, but I think he could. Yeah. Yeah. Derek. Or actually, uh, I think Rogan's done one. Ooh, sick. Like on a that. box. Yeah. yeah. He's got a good back Smith. So yeah. Switch. He's got good switch pop, and I think he's done a few switch back tails. Damn. Sick. And he's got a really good switch back 5 0. Not yeah. like super long, but he can like. Not everyone can pop into a switchback 5 because yeah. you got to pop and land on your back truck as opposed to like kind of like. I love switchback 5-0s. So, so yeah, good. I think he's done one. I'm like 90% sure. Hell pretty yeah. pretty crazy. Derek, Derek Fukuhara definitely done. Oh, him. definitely. He's, he's probably done switch flip back. No, yeah, he has actually I'm for sure. a fact. He's yeah. done switch flip backsmith. I've seen it. All right. Let's see. Matt Splat. Punk rock or hip hop, two completely different approaches to skating. If you had to pick. And let's do this. Let's make it extreme. Okay. So if you're gonna be hip hop, you gotta be fucking the fucking biggest, baggiest hip hop version of hip hop. Stevie William hip hop. Mm-hmm. Or punk rock. Dwayne Peters hip uh punk rock. You have to pick oh, between that's those. So tough. You have to though. The world's ending and like there's a gun to your head and they're like, you gotta like be some version of hip hop. In punk rock, which one? Probably have to go with the punk rock. You're going Dwayne Peters style? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <Just> cool. <laughs> totally. <laughs> nice. I love both, but I would have to go with that vibe. I'm going Stevie. You're going Stevie? If I had to live like some hip hop type version of yeah. skateboarding where mm-hmm. it's like a thing, yeah. I'm going Stevie, dude. Hell yeah. That push, mm-hmm. baggy pants. Exactly. I can't figure out or n- navigate doors either. Like, <laughs> so, like. It's not much of a stretch to be honest. I like Wu Tang. <laughs> like you're already kind of yeah. There. Love hip hop growing up. Yep. Yeah. But, I wouldn't even mind a grill. Yeah. Not gonna be not. Wouldn't be mad at it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Pop a shit with the grill. You'd have to like be like uh for the extreme version would be Dwayne Peters. I was watching him the other day on his Instagram. Oh God. <laughs> talking about Trump and just oh no. F this and these. Oh and, like F. Like Trump or like fuck Trump? Oh, like more pro towards it. Uh, Not that really? politics really matters, but yeah. like he's just a legendary skater. Like, but he's also like he's been like uh, what? Let's look him up. Yeah, he's fried. I like listen to more hip hop though. Do you? Yeah, definitely. I grew up way more on rock and like Sabbath and stuff like that. We're going to wait. This is how you know how when you're dumb is when you have to Wikipedia Dwayne Peters. <laughs> That's me right now. Forgot he's like still around. What do you like for music? What was it hip-hop? More like hip hop than like I grew up a lot on like rock more. Yeah. When I was like in high school. But now I listen to like hip hop rap like probably 80%. That's so funny. Yeah. Yeah. That's sick. Mm hmm. But I despite that, I would still go with Dwayne Peters, just as like as far as skating. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't want to be doing like fucking many tricks with the pants around your ankle. Yeah, you know, it doesn't like, fit for trying me. Trying to get holly <laughs> pip with your ass hanging out. Yeah, like, I'm kind of backing it though. That's where I'm going, but it's fine. I could drink a forty and just Hell put it in yeah. the pants, and like you'd be like drinking something and like spitting it at someone because yep. it's more punk rock. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Dwayne Peart, this is the level we're getting to today. Dwayne Thomas Peters, born June 12th, 1961, nicknamed the Master of Disaster, um, is a punk rock singer, songwriter, and professional skateboarder, activist since 1975. He is probably best known as the singer in the California punk rock band U.S. Bombs, which formed in 1993. Peter's credited for inventing many tricks, such as the acid drop into a, into a bowl, uh, pool bowl, the layback grind, the, the air. in the air, the sweeper. The yeah, these are all tricks you love, for sure. These are tricks you yeah that you can do. That you got a hell of an in the air. You can lay back. Can you lay back? Yeah, I used hell to do yeah. them a lot. I should like 
practice it again. But How's the sweeper looking? I don't like sweepers no. as much, All but right. some people do them good. The backside lay back grind revert? No, I don't have that one. The fakey hang up, aka disaster? Fakey air and just yeah. like hang up on the way in. The invert revert? That one's sick. I've done that, but like not very good. Yeah, that seems hard to do proper. The fakey thruster? Oh, Ugh. that one's sick. I've done like one of those. Not like, again, not very good, but I just like saw like footage of dudes doing it back then and like wanted to do one at least. Fuck yeah. Um, the loop of death, a full 360 rotation and a specialty design loop. He was that dude? He was the first one to do the loop? I thought Maybe. it was Tony, bro. Who knows? He also, along with Neil Blender, helped to evolve the foot plant into a more dynamic fast plant. Thank yep. you, my G's. I love fast, fat, fast plants. Yeah, he was Transworld Skateboarding's legend in 2003. Who cares? The Dwayne Peters story. A second, that's what it's called, Who Cares? <laughs> a second documentary planned on Havoc. Oh, okay, here we go. And intended to focus on the supposed path to sobriety of Peters and his then wife, Courtney Parks. So Publicize failed to appear in 2006. A sober Peters and Cameo, Joan Jett. Damn, that's sick. Dude, that is sick. Um, he, he was in a Joan sick. Jett video. That's so rad. It's like that would be awesome. Yeah, along with along with skateboarding, Peters is well known punk rock singer. He has also formed in bands such as U.S. Bombs, Political Crap, Die Huns, also known as Dwayne Peters and the Huns, Gunfight, Dwayne Peters Gunfight. He had a lot of bands. Oh, Exploding God. Fuck Dolls. <laughs> He's in the Exploding Fuck Dolls. That's classic, dude. This would be fun. Sounds a little reckless, but yeah. fun, you know? You're going to have to drink a little more, Evan. <sighs> nice. All right. We've now, we've now wikipedia Oh, shit. Dwayne Peters' life. I feel like I should know more about Dwayne Peters just because <laughs> I'm a skateboarder, but, like, it wasn't my generation. Yeah. Like, I missed him, apparently. As long as you know, like, the general vibe of like who someone was i feel like it's good yeah i was watching stevie that's probably what it was yeah you know? mm-hmm. that's for sure what it was shout out Dwayne peters though i seen him on instagram uh shout out for being an epic skater apparently and <laughs> punk rock singer songwriter all those tricks are epic I love the acid drop, so thank you. Yeah. Right? Acid drop? It's fucking rolling into huge stuff. Yeah, fuck yeah. If he was the pioneer, I mean, amen, brother. First one to <laughs> roll into some big pool. That's cool. Yo, Matt Splat. Sick name, and thank you for that question. Choo choo choo. Oh, he's got. No, that's the same one. Oh, he wrote more. Hip hop kids flow and are more consistent. Punk kids barge it and do ballsy shit, but eat shit regularly. At least in my viewpoint. Yeah, could go either way. Yeah, I feel you. If you think all those punk dudes in like the old bowl contests in like the 80s, they had to do like runs and land a bunch of tricks in a row. Yeah. It's not easy to keep speed in a bowl and, or like a vert ramp. And no. do, like, fucking 12 tricks in a row, you know? So intense. Because, like, I don't know, you got to land, like, perfectly in. You can't air, land too low, then your run's over. You're flying out, bro, yeah. trying to recover. But, yeah, I get that that's more of, like, yeah, I could see that at the same time, though. Yeah, there's every version of everything. Yeah, yeah, because there could be, like, the hip-hop dude that wants to like try the same line at the plaza for three hours yeah you know what i mean yeah and then there could also be the punk dude that just wants to throw his carcass off of something you know <laughs> and, Fuck it. yeah and then that's the his version of the one hit wonder you yeah. know <laughs> or one trick definitely all right moving on yes sir what time did we start this thing where are we at Damn, we're at two hours. No way. Doesn't feel like it, does it? Feels like maybe like an hour and a half. You still down to keep going some more? Yeah. Chew, 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 chew. I love doing this 
the fist but leave the thumb up it throws people off <laughs> yeah i guess it, i did it and then just looked at you i do it to all the like the all i need skate kids <laughs> and they they start doing it but like at first i could see him like confused they didn't know if i was giving the thumbs up or the yeah, yeah either way they're both good things yeah totally yeah. here one more oh and i kind of <laughs> you did it you did it <laughs> <laughs> i wasn't ready for it <laughs> see what i'm saying <laughs> But it's like two good things. That's why I started doubling up. Mm. Not only are you getting the thumbs up, but you, the pound's coming right behind it. Mm. You know, it's a good thing to do. Now you need a little extra. I reverse psychology to you when yeah, I went to do you it. Did I wasn't expecting it? Threw me off. But I felt kind of like good vibes from it. <laughs> <laughs> Alex McLaren, sick last name. McLaren. Yeah, it's like a nice car. McLaren, McLaren right? That's how you say it. Mm -hmm. Where do you think skateboarding will be in 20 years? And do you predict there to be another skate royalty family? So I'm assuming he's talking about like that? Tony Hawk oh, and Riley. Yeah. What other son duo? Alex Olsen and his dad, Steve Olsen. Yeah. Does Cat have a kid that rips? Dude, Andrew Reynolds and his daughter. True. That would be, That'll be a next one. <laughs> Stella's really good so she far. Rips, yeah. Um, hmm. do you want to answer the skateboard in 20 years so what would that be 2020 2040 damn 2040 like that seems so far away but it's going to be crazy. so fast um I feel like it'll be around the same except the skating will just like keep probably you know getting even gnarlier and that will be like still the norm yeah yeah. People, kid, people are already like the younger kids are progressing like crazy. Like, yeah, you see people, like I seen little kids doing crazy shit that adults used to only do. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. Like, and they imagine if they add on top of it. Yeah. Word. <laughs> yeah, I don't Word. know. <laughs> Just, I don't know. Keep skating either way. You know. Yeah, I think it's gonna be the same thing. Though. Yeah, the like same. to them, that's their normal. Yeah. Like what people before me, that's what always blows my mind when I go back and look at like older dudes and they're like, I always thought they were so amazing, but they also like remembered like, like dudes inventing tricks, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. Like when I came into skating, I was already like learning. I learned, I was learning like how to flip into handrails, mm -hmm. you know? Like that was the thing going on when I was getting into skating was like yeah. flip tricks into shit, you know? Mm -hmm. Dudes before us were just doing the basics, you know? Yeah. And then, so 20 more years, it's just like, we'll just see more like, hopefully not exactly like Nyjah, but like, mm -hmm. it's like super, like, we're already seeing it. Basically, yeah. Instagram right now is you're yeah. just seeing the it's level crazy of skating precision. that. Yeah. So 20 years from now, I don't think it's going to have to keep getting crazier. Maybe more control. Yeah. Different styles and expressions. I'm really looking forward, besides the tech gnarliness, which is like fun or whatever, but I also like just seeing like different people get into skating and take it different styles. Yeah. Like tons of little girls right now, if they stick with it, like seeing their skate, their skating mature is going to mm -hmm. be sick. Totally. And all those different versions. Like when I was coming up, there was just like, there was a couple girls like, but mostly like, I'd say like Alyssa Steamer, Jamie Ray's, um, like doing it, you know, like mm -hmm. building parts and shit. But ne dude, the next twenty years from now, there's gonna be tons of girls, of girls with tons yeah. of content, you know. Heck yeah, yeah. So that will probably be one of the bigger things. And it's like years. so many parks popping up, so all different. And we've seen all different types of skaters like putting out video parts and yeah. stuff. And like it's only gonna keep going. Mm -hmm. Maybe it'll be a local mega ramp someday. Yeah, <laughs> sick. Maybe to, I hope that in twenty years, skateboarding is just more like for people that love it. Mm -hmm. can, they can build it into their lives more so they can do it more and yeah. create these things and like have more amateurs more pros more people like trying to make a living filming skateboard yeah make a living being an am or a pro mm -hmm. starting skateboard companies being able to network and communicate and build things and like have skate communities that are like active people doing events like all the events and stuff so just more of that more yeah. brands that mm -hmm. support like people like skaters doing more of that stuff yeah in 20 years like there's a lot that could be done you i know? agree like california like you look at california that's where the skate industry is but now everyone has a phone mm -hmm. everyone has parks are popping up everywhere yeah there's street spots everywhere and you can broadcast yourself mm. and connect and like we'll see all these skate scenes pop up all over they're everywhere you know but it's even more so now yeah you know there's no like you don't have to go to California. You just start something. If you have the spark and you find other people with the spark, you guys could do crazy, epic, totally. sick shit. 
yeah. 20 years from now be sick to see all that hard work mm. and see what people do you know yeah more parks more shops would be epic i know we're in corona and shit and like mm -hmm. but like it's it all works you know yeah. we gotta keep living our fucking life mm -hmm. things gotta keep moving forward yeah, at some totally. point you know the clouds go away sun comes out you mm -hmm. know? i this whole thing dude i'm always like i feel like i'm just gonna have a bitter taste after this not even like in like five years i'm just gonna have a bitter taste about this whole experience you think so like a bitter as in bad yeah like with uh we're just gonna see all our not the skating side of things just i was thinking about life in general and corona you know mm -hmm. and like all that shit i feel like i'm just gonna be like bummed out on this situation <laughs> you're just gonna be like look back and be like how the fuck did we do that why yeah. did it why did it get to that why did this like we're just gonna be reflecting on our ignorance it's gonna be like, you know yeah i could see that because we're just gonna be like everybody's picking sides everyone's mm -hmm. deciding who who's right who's wrong yeah people are putting themselves in bubbles and like then we have real issues and it's just all chaotic I feel like we're just going to look back and be like, Jesus Christ, <laughs> we didn't handle that well. Yeah. You know? Mm. You remember that song? We won't get fooled again. Yep. That the one. Who? It's like that type of moment, you know? Where yeah. Like, Fuck. Like a 9-11 moment where you're like, don't know what's true and what's real <laughs> and who, like, what are we doing, you know? Yeah, and, just or like, like, it's like, this is going to be one of those moments. Yeah. But we're going to go, we're going to move on, you know? Yeah, Totally. We're going to be okay, people. <laughs> I think we have technology now and like people are adjusting and it's disrupting our society because that's what technologies do. And it's like giving everybody a power that they never had before or a way to like share. We're able to share the human experience. Like everybody, it's democratized. Mm. Anybody with a phone has the power of audio and visual. visual so we're seeing all this <laughs> shit play out. Sorry, you said visio. Video. Audio and video. <laughs> video. <laughs> yeah. We're seeing the shit play out, so we're basically filming every human experience and thought. It's like and documenting overload. it. Yeah, like, media. Everything is media entrenched. Mm -hmm. So we're seeing all of life. The best, the worst, the stupid, the ugly, Chaotic. the intelligent, the hyper... Mm -hmm. intelligent like we're seeing the full spectrum of everything like so it's just so much for society and us to deal with yeah and kids have to inherit this <laughs> you know what i'm saying we have to learn to navigate this shit <laughs> that's to sucks. survive yeah that's terrible dude our whole be a world bunch of fucked up kids probably all no. mentally ill i think they'll be <laughs> okay but it's gonna be like yeah. it's gonna take some adults to figure out how to use the shit in a way that it's like healthy and happy and sustainable you yeah know? like that's always been my goal with like creating stuff and skating and doing the youtube channel and doing the podcast is like it was to help skateboarding mm -hmm. it was like to find a way to use this shit to do it to build a brand you know like the youtube channel i was like we can film our sessions we can do the trick tips and then like the podcast yeah. we can talk about skating and Your like spit was bubbling up. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking, come on bro <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah can you pop this <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. no but like it's totally like right. we have to find a way to do this shit you know yeah. like because like i don't know like coming up dude i was always like the funnest part of skating is like connecting with other people and creating shit together mm -hmm. like that's half the reason i want to be sponsored was to like be a part of something be a part of something so epic you know that other people appreciate the same shit you appreciate and like yeah. they put the same hours in so they're like damn let's do cool shit together you know i agree it's like the best i don't know the problem is that these fucking things can be traps so you can use your phone and shit and like there's when you're so young you're making mistakes and you're definitely gonna be filming them yeah <laughs> you know? of course. like i didn't have them when i was that little mm -hmm. so like i was still developing my character and figuring out who i am and what i believe and like making mistakes and i'm still doing that but like yeah it did it like in private per se yeah but like i didn't have so much yeah intrusiveness or like yeah. didn't have the noose to hang myself with like mm -hmm. you can with these things you know mm. but it's part of being alive like you're born into a fucking world that you didn't inherit it's chaos and you're just trying to swim and figure it out you know mm -hmm. it's just like every new soul has to navigate this you know and they're gonna make mistakes you know yeah like they might say words they didn't mean and were hurtful and they have to learn from them and like yeah. things are going to happen and you're going to be ignorant and stupid and try to get your fucking way out of that. Yeah. So it's like and with that with cameras and audio around, you know, 
<laughs> just like a lot for people. But I think we're doing all right. It's chaos. It's fucking chaos. <laughs> but there's a lot of good too. Like I go outside. That's what's. That's what it is too. Is like I can go outside every day here. Go go to work. Yeah. See a bunch of people. Mm -hmm. Things work. Yeah, it's usually know? fun and like feels good. Yeah, I can go skate parks. There's all different types of people there skating, living their lives, happy. Like, yeah, it's just when you turn the shit on. You yeah, look at your phone, turn mm -hmm. shit on. It's like it's salacious and catches your eyes, you know. And there's yeah. real shit going on, and it's like totally. That, that's kind of what it is. It's like we're gonna make this thing that you can dip your toe in at any time. This human creation where you can like go in it and you can pick your folder and you want your fucking injuries you want your porn you want your yeah. fucking injustice file you want something that'll get you going whatever pick your poison you can go find it on the internet yeah or your utopia too you could like find mm -hmm. the perfect version or whatever one of my favorite things is just like the small interactions you have with like people that are like out like you know that either work in a gas station or work at duncan oh i had a good one i just like i don't know it's such a like you said about going out and seeing people and things work. Yeah. Like, I don't know. Something about just like that. It's just like nice. Yeah. It's rad when you, whenever you go somewhere and you see someone working and yeah. you interact with someone who's working, serving the mm -hmm. public and they're not hating their job completely or like, like that one chick I saw where she was bleeding out her lips trying to give me change. Oh, shit. She was working. Yeah. But like there's, but like the people that you go to and you see them, they're just working their job and they carry themselves like, mm -hmm with dignity and like yeah. show up every day and yeah. get paid and, you know like mm -hmm. that's awesome you go have yeah. like a nice little interaction because you're yep. doing the same like i'm fucking leaving work to come here you're yeah. at work mm -hmm. i'm on lunch break like yeah it's just like you have like weird relationships with people yeah that's what i'm saying yeah. <laughs> you don't even know each other <laughs> yeah it's, that's sick i love that that Just is like sick. the people that work at your local coffee shop or like local duncan or wherever yeah the gas station that's exactly. I was thinking of the spot. Yeah. I go, go for lunch. It's like mm -hmm. a store, but they have a deli and stuff. Yeah, it's like the same people every yeah. day, and I'm the same person. And you like there. you forget about them completely. You never think about them, and like you're like, they're like, hey, yeah. <laughs> and it's like, damn, I've seen you like a lot of times at this yeah. point. Like, there's a gas station like a mile up from my road, and it's kind of like on the way to everything, like towards town and towards like the highway and stuff so you hit it a lot so it's like out. i hit it a lot and like now that i think of it like i don't know there's this one dude that's there like most of the time like i've probably seen him like hundreds of times at this are point friends, dude. we're like kind <laughs> of friends of but like him. yeah <laughs> it's facts dude it's like uh, kind of comforting like oh he's here yeah like, he's holding it down yeah, yeah. Like, okay <laughs> nice <laughs> so true yeah that's dude. That's like if you think about it too. Like people work full time jobs and they spend as much time with those people they're working with as they do with their family. Yeah, you right? know, you get it's home crazy. from work and you hang out with your family. Yeah, you go to work because you almost spend sometimes more time with your work people. Mm hmm. But it's not the same as with your family. Yeah, no. <laughs> weird, dude. That gave me the chills, kind of. Mm. Got weird, bro. Jesus, how's a how's a pumpkin, bro? Definitely good, but like, oh. No more than three because it's like a lot of pumpkin. That's why sure. I got it. I yeah. was like, I, we only have a couple, you know? Mm. Um, oh, I ha dude, the other day I was going to a gas station and in front of me was this nice looking car. It was like an 80s rock type car, like mm -hmm. an iRock or something like yeah. that. Like one of those cars. I was like, damn, this dude's got a nice car. Dude gets out. He looks like a dude from the 80s. He's got really? sideburns. And no his hair way. was dried a little too dark. No and like shit. he was like kind of older he was like mm -hmm. he was trying to dress like he used to when he was in his glory days basically. yeah but he had the bitch in car and i was like damn this guy's still got it you hell know hell yeah wish westgate would have been, <laughs> he would have like fucking been hyped. Loved, yeah he would have pointed him out to me and been like yeah look at this dude and uh i'm walking in next to him and he's like mumbling something and i look at him he looks at me he's like there's fucking masks I always fucking forget these fucking men. <laughs> and I was like, so sick. I was like, I know, man. And then we went in the store and uh, paid for our shit. And then we both came out at the same time. And I was just like, I can't remember what I said to him, but I was like, I know, man, these things are fucking annoying. But like, I just said something that he mm -hmm. totally related with. He yeah. was like, you're right, man. You're right. I said something. <laughs> I can't remember what I said. 
I just said something like people are just like life's about risk and we have to get better at assessing assessing risk mm -hmm. and people can learn that. Yeah. And he's like, you're right, man. You're right. Because <laughs> that's what I was just trying to say. I'm like, these people, like, it's the first time they've like, there's media broadcasted to people. They don't know if it's true or not or if it is. There's a pandemic. And mm -hmm. it's like, the thing that, the thing that blows me, my mind about this whole thing is like, and I've heard Joe Rogan say this before and other people, but it's like common sense thing. It's like, if they really wanted to help people, they would just constantly talk about diet and exercise. Yeah. Just all day long. Like totally. promote diet and exercise. Yeah. Because your immune system and like I agree. Healthy lifestyle and like you you're not pandering to fear, like causing them to panic or fear, mm -hmm. but it's like, you know, because there's real risk involved with flu season. Flu kills a lot of people. Yeah. You know, people that love were loved, you know? Like it's a real perceived threat. It's real. It's like flus happen. Mm -hmm. But it's like, um, uh, it's like political. It's like our politics and our experts are using it for to collect money for ad yeah. revenue or to fight against each other and fucking to prove a point to get more votes to win yeah, to like win some fucking epic thing. You know, like, six feet, mask, sanitize your yeah. hands. Why not just add exercise? Eat good. Yeah. Get good rest. Be fucking like emphasize. Take that. care of Remind yourself. Remind people. It's yeah. not like you're talking down to them, but like a healthy reminder instead yeah. of like constantly fear scaring people. And mm -hmm. like it's like uh, our media and our government. It's like the government's using it as a weapon back and forth mm -hmm. as a political thing, and then the media is using it to get your attention. So they're yeah. just playing hyperbolic. <laughs> yeah. So it's like, it's like you guys are not good. For, you're not helping. No. Definitely not helping. Like. There's, you can't be too safe in life. Yeah. Like, you can't. Life is... Everyone loses it at the end, and there's risk in life. Mm -hmm. and you can't fucking nerf the world because then you don't develop and you don't become strong. It's a muscle. Life is a muscle. And yeah. You have to exercise mm -hmm. it, you know? Like... Yeah, if you're you can't, shelter yourself, you'll be fucking yeah. weak. <laughs> but if anyone promises... Can't take anything on. Yeah. And all these people promise you safety and security, and it's like you can't promise that. Like, yeah. I can walk out tomorrow on my or on my moped and get fucking hit by a cop. Yeah, you know what I'm saying like <laughs> shit happens. Yeah, like, fucking you could walk out my door and just a freak accident could happen. Like, mm -hmm. shit is so crazy, man. We learn that from skating. You learn to assess risk because yeah. like you want to do these things and you dream about them and you envision them and you want to go do them and. Some are more dangerous than others, and you're like figuring it out, and you're um, assessing it. You're yeah. working. You're trying to get the trick good enough. You're trying to like get the experience and be ready to do it. And like, mm -hmm. it's like that's constantly what we're practicing. Yeah, you know, like you exactly. learn to kickflip, and then you want to learn to kickflip two stairs, three stairs, four stairs. You take it to like where you can up over something higher, mm -hmm. the next higher thing. Like, yeah, you know what I mean. How long can you do this thing? Mm -hmm. You know, like. And you work your way up from the bottom, sort of. You learn it yeah. and then go further. You assess risk and keep going and see how far you can take the thing to, like, wherever you want, you know? Mm -hmm. People, like, that don't have something like skateboarding in their life, I feel bad. Because, like, skateboarding has taught me a lot of shit like that where I'm just, mm -hmm. like, it's like a embodied knowledge. Because yeah. you, you practice the principles and you learn it. You might not think it out, but, like, you, you physically learn it, you know? Like, like just learning how to fall. You know, yeah they can't take that for granted like people that are active and can move their body and like skate or other things that are active like they have the advantage in that mm -hmm. situation you know for sure but dude if they really wanted to help us they would say that though they would promote exercise mental health like mm -hmm. i've been trying to meditate is that weird no it's not i've tried i actually i was gonna ask you if you did it i was thinking of you earlier and i was like i feel like evan might have meditated but you just live near the ocean which i think is yeah. like meditation yeah definitely where i live is like kind of it's not like woodsy but it's definitely like much more like rural than yeah like compared to some other i feel places, like the closer you are to the ocean it's the more humbling it is because yeah. you see it a lot and it's surreal you know? Yeah, totally. I feel like the sky would be like that, but we got a lot of light pollution everywhere. Yeah. But like whenever I go out and look up at the skies, I'm always like in awe. Like I'll yeah. lay on my deck actually at night and you can see the stars on mm -hmm. the mountain. And it's just like I could, as cliche and corny, I could stare at it for, at, it's like meditation because you're just like, yeah, I'm under something that's incomprehensible. Mm -hmm. For the sure. The ocean's kind of like that. Yeah. 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 I don't know. I live close. So sometimes if I have like, even it's like, you know, a few spare minutes, just drive by, like, along the seawall. Even if it's just, like, a one-minute drive, it's like... Yeah. 
cool. That's <laughs> dude. That I gets that makes me want to live towards the ocean. <laughs> yeah, just to be able to see that daily. Mm-hmm. You know, even if it's just a glimpse, mm-hmm. it's fucking epic. Probably the mountains too. Like my friend Chris Trembley shoots fucking amazing. Yeah, see the ones yeah. you share. It's at Chris sick. Trembley on Instagram. At Chris Trembley on Instagram. <laughs> I'll put his link. Let me look him up. <laughs> Thought you were gonna say it a third time. <laughs> <laughs> I should have. I just want to make sure the link for Dwayne Peters is in, in here. This is the most. Um, this no, is the, the podcast GoFundMe. homework. The podcast yeah. homework is to go into the description of the episode and watch one of the things. Hell yeah. I should get a video screen somehow, right? Dude, that would be sick. I just haven't wrapped my brain around it, but we could... You could do HDMI to like a projector and then boom. Yeah, it would have to be a projector probably, huh? Or just like a... Yeah, a projector. Could you do a green screen with video and like I don't know just green would... screen it up there? Yeah, you could probably project it. Because just... the TV would be... It would probably be weird with the TV and the camera, I wonder. If you'd be hmm. able to see it, like filming straight onto a TV. It's the first time I've thought about this. You could see it. Maybe. It would at least be like a something. What was I looking up? Um, fucking um, your link, Chris Trembley. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He goes out into like the most beautiful parts of New Hampshire and other places, and he takes these photos that are fucking amazing. They get me through days, dude. Hell yeah. Sometimes I just stare. And <laughs> like sick. I just like, it keeps me hyped. You yeah. Know? <clears throat> Let me see. I'll pull it up on my phone. Some photos do that for me. When you see something that you're just like, God, that's a real place. Mm-hmm. It's fucking amazing. Chris is a legendary skateboarder too. Oh, yeah. Definitely. <clears throat> uh, his Instagram. So I'll put it in there. It's, a, it's like an underscore, right? Yeah. It's Chris underscore Tremblay, which is T-R-E-M-B-L-E-Y. The underscore got me. That's what it was. Choo 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 choo. Um, yeah, he just has these epic photos. Like he'll wait for like ever and like capture like some wildlife too. He Whoa, does like the thing's cute. Like look at that shit. Damn, that is really amazing. Yeah, I'm gonna put. You definitely have to look at Chris's Instagram. It's gonna go in there. And he's like a legendary skater too. Chris used to ride for real. Oh, really? He got to go to dude. He got to go to Japan with Huff, Ooh, which is crazy. Crazy. Like in the beginning, like Chris yeah. got on Deluxe and they like took him to Japan with Huff. It was wow. sick. But yeah, he just finds these legendary photos. Like just like these are like using yeah, for catalogs unreal. or whatever. Like mm-hmm. calendar, calendar, all the shit. Like waterfalls. Like just. That one's sick. Classic stuff. I dude. like that shutter speed setting when the water is kind of Tracy. Like a, yeah. Yeah, it's got like the tracing. Makes it look like a painting almost. Yeah, that's yeah. That's what I was Damn, going look for. at that one. He shot just deer staring right at him, bro. So cute. <laughs> I want to kiss it right on his snout, bro. <laughs> I kiss my dog a lot. Mm. I love kissing Emma. She's the shit. Kiss her right on her forehead. She got like a little muscle forehead. Oh, uh, yep. So sick. How's Tara doing? She's doing really good. Hell she was yeah. with me all weekend. She came to Plainfield Saturday nice. afternoon, and then she came to Groton on Sunday all day. Dude, I wanted to go to Groton, but I already was like told that Billy I'd skate with him. Yeah, I was yeah, kind of yeah. like, nah, yeah, for sure. And I had fun it with Billy, but like, yeah. I was like, when you said Groton with Siegel, I was like, this <laughs> sounds interesting. Yeah, Keegan and Siegel and Evan, yeah, like, it was definitely fun. <laughs> we just chilled all, skated for probably like three or four hours. Who's the homie that did front blunt too on that? Oh, uh, Nate Robinson. Yeah, that was yeah. Gnarly. He like him and Kevin Phelps skated together a lot. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah I know. Yeah, Nate. yeah, see. Nate's like, you know that thing at Edge too, that like bank to wall like. Uh, and the step up yeah um there's like the step up to ledge step up to the rail. gnarly like the gnarly like bank yeah train east of bank yeah he from blended that which oh, is like wait. Uh, up the step up yeah i think to the right of the fucking wall mm-hmm. ride with the to coping. the right of the wall front ride. blunted that yeah holy shit which that's, is like that's a front the blunt. sickest one i've seen him do jesus <laughs> i yeah i tried to tag him when i posted that clip on his story but i think he's off instagram like Which Billy. is kind of sad because I wanted to too. see his stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Billy's off too. Got to respect it. Yeah, it's a ch- person. We, you heard everything I was talking about with society and the world mm-hmm. in your pocket at yeah. all times. It's like 
it's heavy. Sometimes it's not healthy. Yeah, <laughs> I just can't help myself either way. I just want to <laughs> see what's happening. I mean, I like it. I yeah. I like using it as a tool and trying to mm-hmm. build shit with it. And I some I lurk like Instagram and Facebook and oh, like I love lurking. Just yeah. when you have like twenty minutes, it's fine. It's, just, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's the human experience, you mm-hmm. know. And you can see everything. Awesome, mm-hmm. you know. To be connected. Yeah, We're fortunate, the- but it's also like a lot of responsibility, bro. Mm-hmm. Totally. A lot, of, a lot of heaviness. I just saved this one. Waitress saves says customer wrote mask on receipt in lieu of tip after she recommended him of policy. So the dude didn't tip her. She told him to put a mask on, and then he just wrote in the tip place mask. <laughs> to write the word mask just seemed disrespectful, said Kathy Kearney owner of the john henry's pub yeah dude i don't know i feel like despite your opinion about like it's just so easy to put the mask on until you sit at the table yeah. and take it off is, is then it, once you're sitting the restaurant's pretty much full you're at your table no one else has a mask on it's like you look around it's like this is pretty much what it used to be yeah you know yeah, what yeah. i mean yeah yeah i went out to eat the other day yeah and once you're sitting down you look around you're like Oh, like this is pretty much normal. Yeah. It's got to wear it for like five seconds. Yeah. I don't know. I think that's a dick move, but I, I get it. He's probably fucking all, he's probably watching his phone and something all day and he's just having mm-hmm. a bad day and yeah, he's and like, half he's like, of this is t- bullshit. Take it all out right here. <laughs> it's, it's. Take out his frustration. Just yeah. write that <laughs> on the tip. <laughs> <laughs> he was just pissed, dude. I've seen a lot of random anger. <laughs> mm. It's fair to it's not fair to deny either side. It's like to think it's bullshit. It's like it's like these you can understand why someone might. Yeah. The environment and the media and everything you're like, yeah, this could be bullshit. Yeah, and you whether know? they're, you know, fixing the numbers or yeah, you know, we don't death know. rates like Yeah. I so don't to know, not can't be trust anything really. Yeah. We have to give each other like try to give people the benefit of the doubt or just yeah. like it's hard though, man. It's a weird time. We're going to be fine, though. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's just an adjustment. That's what I was getting at. It's like the yeah. technology is disrupting life because we have to deal with things for the first time. Mm-hmm. A lot of stuff in different scenarios. And it has a new perspective because we can film and hear, hear it all. You know, like, so yeah. like people are growing a lot and figuring things out or not figuring things out. and it's funny, too, with, like, the numbers. I don't know. I heard, like, Rhode Islands are back to where it was when it, like, peaked in the spring. Yeah. And I just haven't been paying attention to the numbers. I'm just <laughs> going about my life, and Trying someone right. was like, oh, like, yeah, like, the numbers are back to where they were in, like, March. And I'm just like, where? Like, I don't know anyone that has it. Like, yeah. I don't see it around me. Yeah, we Which don't doesn't, know. like, discredit it, but it's just, like, I don't know. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's not, like, in your world sometimes. It's, like... And it's like hard to know. Yeah. It's really hard to know. Dude, fucking. Which just sucks sucks to say, but it's like all our politicians are fighting with each other and they're mucking up and calling each other liars. So there's yeah. no like all you have to go off of is your own life at mm-hmm. some point, you know? Like you can have faith in institutions, but like some institutions are corrupt, you know? Like, yeah. Not all of it, but like it's all out there at the same time, you know? It's like there's yeah. no way to really know. It's like. Um. I'm Which not is, like a, sounds like I'm diffusing responsibility, but yeah. I think if you pay attention in your own life and try to be clean exactly. and healthy and safe and try to be the best you can, that's all you can really do. That's all and you can do. You can't fault people for mm-hmm. just trying to adjust. And I'm like, I, I don't really like, I don't denounce like the pandemic or that it's real or like that our numbers, you know, they're worse for sure. No matter if they're like, some of them are, you know, valid or not, but um, yeah. Out in Ohio, Eli's uh, girlfriends, like friends, they um, they work in some type of thing where they it's like mandatory testing. Yeah. And a few of them, they pull up and like it's a like a drive through testing, you know, and it's just a super long line. So like it happened to more than one of this this chick's friends, like like four to five people said this like. So they have a test scheduled, so the state and whoever has, like, your name and your information. And some of the people that this girl's friends with just, like, saw the line and just, like, was like, fuck it. They just left. They're like, oh, I'm time for this bullshit. Yeah. And they actually got, like, a, a test, 
result in the mail, like telling them they had like positives. But they didn't even do it. They didn't even do the test. Wow, that's crazy. So it's like, it's yeah, you hear how, shit like that. Yeah, and, and it's like know. okay, like yeah. how many times has that happened? Yeah. So I don't know. <laughs> There's a lot of shit out there like that. Yeah. Man. Which is crazy to think, you know. Mm-hmm. Fucking again, it's just like uh, <laughs> you don't know. Yeah. You just don't know. Yeah. Wish you did. Totally. It's weird because, like, if you knew all the time, it, then that's a whole problem, too. That's yeah. That's what the battle is. Mm-hmm. It's like to have full on surveillance all the time. Yeah. And to be completely intrusive in people's lives. Like, yeah. that's like the. Or just still be able to be kind of reckless with your own life, you know? Mm-hmm. You're, it's insane. Yeah. That's what, the, that's what it is, dude. For real. That's why a pandemic's a perfect dividing line. <laughs> yeah. You know? Because mm-hmm. some people. It just tests your psychology, psychology as a human. Yeah, I get so mad seeing people. I mean, I, I don't know. I've seen people like walking, like, in a park, like by themselves outside with, with no one around, like <laughs> no one around. Yeah. And like, if you want to have it, like you know, hanging down, and then when you pass someone, you know, if that you're on like sense. a bike path, like, yeah. all right, I respect that. Like, I might not do that if. As far as me being outside at all, yeah. like, I don't really, but if you want to do that, like, that's respectable, but, like, to just, like, have it on the entire time, yeah. and I'm just, like, dude, like, what? That's weird. It just makes me want to, like, scream at you. Yeah. But if like, I do, then I'm, like, the bad guy that doesn't want to wear a mask at all. And oh, like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. it's, like. People jump to conclusions. Yeah. Fast, so, yeah. whatever, though. But uh, it is weird, like people in their own car with the mask on, mm-hmm. just driving. Like I yeah. know people probably talked about this before, but yeah, it blows my mind. Like, I just want to, like, dude, just roll your window down and breathe. It's not like magic. <laughs> it's just not yeah. magic. Like, yeah, exactly. Maybe maybe if you just keep it on because you don't want to touch your nose and mouth, maybe that True. helps. I guess. But still, it's just like I don't know. It's like I, I don't know if they'll ever have a fucking cure for the thing. Yeah. You still have to adapt and keep going. And like, Mm -hmm. but there's, it gets tricky with the law, with the work, you know, they take your temperature and like, you might not be able to go to work. Like that's where all these dividing lines are. Yeah. Trying to deal with how people are trying to figure out how to deal with this. You know, totally. so insane, man. That's another one because your health can fuck up your work and that's your your life. life. Yeah. Yeah. Like that's your life, your family, your life, you know, like, that seems like a big glaring hole because mm. it's not your fault you got sick, you know. Yeah. And then they they can blame it on China, but it could have it happens like. Yeah. I'm sure, the pan, wasn't there Spanish flu? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know I mean, like yeah. it happens, like yeah. this shit happens. So mm-hmm. we need to f- use the technology to fucking yeah actually build, use it. <laughs> yeah, use the technology to actually help people's lives. So like, if something like this happens, there's like um. A safety net or something some some way to figure that one out totally um or we got more talk about the significance of aesthetic skateboards in modern times paved the way also talk about ricky iola lots of ricky i think he's talking about aesthetic skateboards with like rob welsh and stuff joey pepper yeah. i used to love aesthetics do you remember them no I know who Joey Pepper is. Dude, the aesthetics was so sick. I don't know if it's around. It looks like they might have an Instagram. But I always, like, like, hate admitting when I don't know something from, like, you know what I mean? Yeah, I do. Clyde Singleton, um, Rob Welsh, mm-hmm. Joey Pepper, I believe, was on aesthetics. It was a KT, KT the God, dude. Oh, hell It was yeah. a sick brand, dude. Like Kevin Taylor? Yeah. Oh, sick. Yeah, he had new footage in a Skate Mafia promo that was fucking rad. Oh, hell yeah. KT's a legend. He just rips. It was like called the Skate Mafia promo, but I feel like it should have just been named like a video. Because it, it was like a 30 minute long, like <laughs> sick montage with like pretty much individual parts for the most part. That's crazy. It's like, yeah, just make it, make it a video. Yeah, dude. Clyde Singleton. You know Clyde Singleton? Mm-mm. Dude, the best fakey fakey anything let's, fakey anything yeah I'm going to let's pull up a Clyde Singleton part it's like Seth Seth Purnell is really good at fakey dude Clyde Singleton would do like the fakey back lip one like oh all the time 
like fakey ollie to front board or like front half cab to all like, of them all Every, of them all he was like he's probably a pioneer of some of this shit for sure ride or die this is i think that's the aesthetics video yeah Yes, Clyde used to get me so hyped. He used to ride for 23, too. I had a few Clyde boards. I rode for Elwood, too. I got flow from them. Clyde was rocking Elwood. This is the shit. Yeah, this is their video, Ride or Die. All right, I'll turn the volume down because, uh, oh. He hasn't done one fakey trick. Come on, you son of a bitch. Nah, dude. Damn, that was fakey. Fakey switch 5 Fakey half cab board. Fakey switch front crook. Dude, savage. Damn, you like a front tail fakey. Damn, did you see that yeah, one? Yeah, that was crazy. Fakey to switch back lip on that out rail. Switch back to that famous quarter pipe. Is that a fakey shove or a fakey ollie? No, straight fakey ollie Damn. over a uh, rail into a bank. Fakey to switch back later. Hell yeah, that's sick. Dude, Clyde, you destroyed it, my G. That was dope. I I forgot how sick Clyde was. Damn, just ollie and bumped a bar in that dude's face. Oh, there's more. These are the after blacks. I wonder where he is, where Clyde is now. Yeah, this video was sick. Aesthetics just had a sick look, obviously, the name and, like, fucking the skaters. It was, like... Figgy back tail. Yeah, that was so sick. And it had, like, the hip-hop vibe. It was, like, mm -hmm. the sick version, like, for sure. Because we were talking, like, uh, hip-hop yeah. versus punk rock. Like, they did a good job. Damn. Thanks for that question, Cameron. McCain. He said, talk about Riccio. Riccio, I think of the 4 and one where he's mic'd up, just skating around. Solid push. Solid nollie flips. Um, Ricky O is just the new deal. Just ripping for so long. Legendary. Yeah. Ricky O kills, man. We Let's got see. some new deal boards in at Juice. Oh, hell yeah. Well, like some reissues. I don't know if it's like new. I don't know if he has anything to do with them nowadays. Yeah, I don't know where they're at. Eastern Exposure 3. Oh, dude, I hold on. I got to, before we do that, I got to put the link to Clyde's part in the description. My geez. Let me just make sure I got this right. Ride or die. All right, she's in there. What are you looking at? What are you looking at? I was reading there? the Bombing Hills gives us such great thrills. Oh, hell yeah. All right, we'll do a little more Ricky, and then uh, and then we'll wrap this. Dude, where are we at? 246, my friends. <laughs> Damn. I'm kind of having to pee, but I like him having fun. This is a good yeah, one. Yeah, <laughs> me too. <laughs> pull that in. Pull. It. Oh, wait. Don't touch the mic. Don't touch yeah. the mic. Just go back to it. Eastern Exposure 3, Ricky O. The pod saves lives. The pod saves lives. We get a we'll look at skateboard and stuff. Yeah, man. Ricky O is just a beast. You know why? Because he's a grown fucking man just skating around, killing it. Street skater, too. Like, just holding it down. Started fucking skateboard companies and just being fucking the man. He's been holding it down forever, too. Oh, shit. Ooh, solid Such trick. Such a sick track. Yeah, right? That flat ground. Great pushing, right? He's always pushing. Oh, good wallies. How good is this already? Really good. Just fast pushing flat ground tricks. Good switch. His push switch, you're saying? Yeah, Damn. just like in general, like his switch stance is cool. That was sick. He just did a shifty. Switch back shifty. Yeah, just a switch ollie shifty in a line. Still going. 
He's literally skating the city. I bet if you talk to Ricky, that's what he'd say. Like, fucking skate the whole city, bro. Yeah. Wow. Damn. Up a curb. Trey flip up a curb. This line is insane. <laughs> Damn. Okay. This is Eastern Exposure 3. That's why. It's yeah. Like what it's meant to be. Destruction, dude. What the fuck? Dude, I like that trick. 5-0 grind to back tail slide. Yeah, that's way sick. I like it on just coping. 5-0 yeah. stall to mm-hmm. back tail is mm-hmm. sick. Just like fluid. Nothing. There's something about just classic basic tricks going fast. Yeah. And like, like in on the middle smooth, of the street. Yeah, like, like smooth ground and like fucking smashing wallies off of shit. Heck yeah. Yeah, this shit is timeless. Eat it up, boys. Ricky O, Eastern Explosion 3. Dude, such a sick frontside and backside ollie. On that tight-ass tranny. The fucking, is this Metallica? Metallica? I don't know with the pod and the music. I don't know how they they give us a warning for the music or something. Oh, true. He just did a salad grind. Oh! This is just fucking sick-ass Philly spots, you know? And probably New York, too. Over the ledge to 50. You know what's rad about this is this is all like we could find these, you know? Yeah. Like that was a gas station. This is just like literally going around wherever you are and skating everything. Yep. And fast. So fast. Yeah. Yo, that was sick. We skated a bulkhead in New York, man. Yeah, that's what I thought of the uh, the wall ride to fakie. Yeah, I have that clip I was like looking yeah. at it the other day. Damn, up on the window. That made me feel like kind of validated because I don't see anyone just do a wall ride to fake like yeah. without like just straight up and down. Yeah. That's I'm like, awesome. is this like a thing? The bulkhead skating is epic. Damn, switch Ollie down, switch Ollie up. Is this Pulaski? I think that's the plaza. Yeah. Fucking sick. Yeah, Philly. Ricky O is Philadelphia's skate scene, man. Like he's He's a diehard skateboarder. Damn. And a grown man doing all this shit. Look mm-hmm. at this. This dude's out there less like charging. Yeah, and Ricky's been doing it forever too. He's still doing it. He's like yeah. a diehard skater. And you know what I like about Ricky Ricky O is that he has a personality. Sick. Yeah. You don't even have to like him. He's funny. Mm-hmm. He's got a personality. Damn, pull jam back one eighty, so good. That switch pull jam. Got to switch, yeah. Damn look. Switch pull jam 180. That was, that was just vertical. Yeah, that was just straight up fucking pull. Damn, that makes me want to find a pull jam so bad. This Fuck. part is so gnarly. I like forgot. a pull jam section. <laughs> like yeah, that. six pull jam. <laughs> that was legit. It was rapid fire pull jam. Dude, look at the swass on this one. Sweaty ass, bro. Hell yeah. He's yeah. put in work. He's fucking out there. He's been skating down the whole city. I bet everybody <laughs> knows him. He's like, oh, yeah. there's that crazy skateboarder. <laughs> Fucking traffic again. <laughs> oh, wow. that's His lines are just marathon lines. That was cool. Damn. I feel like I know that rail, too. That's in Atlanta. That's one in Atlanta, I think. Big, long rail. Yeah, it looks so good. I might be wrong. Fuck. Ooh. You know who I want to watch too If we have time I feel like three hours is the limit on this No we still got time We should put a huff part on Cause I just yeah. love seeing clean fast yeah. Like power Like Riccio has got me hyped right now Damn That was sick Fucking under That's like a rainy day spot and mm. So good though Rikio is a, a fucking legend. That was tight. And he's always done like skateboard stuff too. Like uh, he started traffic. He still does traffic, I believe. Mm-hmm. Traffic's a cool brand. I feel like everyone likes them. And they had like teams and everything. They he's had sick team. They did a bunch of trips. I I watched some of their trips overseas. Dude, imagine if you came upon this indoor spot. And it's banks and rails and like fucking all this shit you can skate. And it's downhill. You're still going. That looks like so much fun. Dude, switch all these shifties on flat. Yeah, Ricky. 
All right, we're going to do it. Huff. I like the way that sounds with the keyboard. Goody, 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 mm-hmm. goody, goody. R.I.P. Should we do penal code? Real to real. That one's two minutes. We'll do penal codes. Cause it's classics. We'll do Thrasher. Yeah. Shout out to Thrasher. Hell yeah. Let me, uh, throw, throw. Classics. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. I lost it. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. I'll pull it back up. Shout out. Shout out to the fucking podcast people. There you go. There we go. I found it again. That's so classic, bro. You know? R.I.P. Damn, always a solid tray, both of them. Ricky O and Keith Huffenagle, such solid trays. Damn, look at that little spot. Such a, like, casually tall back 50 to start the line. And again, he's just skating the city, man. You can yeah, see. Yeah, New York right there. Both have awesome pushes, right? That's SF for sure. Those big metal plates in the road yeah, and you stack them up and make spot. Yeah, it makes like mani pads and gaps and stuff. Hell yeah. You ever been to SF? No. Oh, I dude, go, you though. gotta fucking. I we gotta know. go, dude. Let's Steven's figure this out. Steven's told me to go a few times. You should go for a trip. Yeah. It's fun, man. The hills and just like. Yeah, it seems the like cuss. so fun. It's like East Coast, kind of. Yeah. It's like the East Coast Cali for sure. Shit Damn. like that, too. Yeah, over rails, lofty lines and pop and cruising. Mm-hmm. And you're in city vibes. Oh, that was sick. Back when 850, back when 80 out. That was like a church. Damn, switch ollies. It's the same vibe, sort of. Yeah. Different song, but like just same city More scale. like, I don't know, kind of like elegant, but like snarly at the same time. You know what I mean? Everything's so solid, too. Yeah. And the pushing is like, they're just killing it with the pushing. Damn, Switchback 180 just chilling. I love Switchback 180 on flat. Yeah, it's funny how like a different like type of body can just make you like look like such a different skater. Yeah. Because he's like kind of like thinner, like, I don't know. Ricky seems just like bigger and stuff. Yeah. It's just the same generation, sort of, I think. Yeah. Because they just skate in the city a lot, you know? Yeah, they're not like, gotta go here, gotta fucking do this, like... Yeah. They just, like, go out, skate. They're literally just finding lines, like, cruising. Yeah. That was so sick. Hell yeah, R.I.P. Legend. And again, started a brand, too. Yep. Big one. Yeah. (laughs) Which still lives on. All right, man. I think we covered it all. That was a gnarly one. That was sick. Let me just make sure and see how many questions we got left. Yeah, we might have to do another one. We're going to do another one, people. Choo. Let me see if I can skim through these real quick to make sure. See if any ones are just funny or random ones. Like We covered that one. Not really. I'll leave it. Yeah. Ah, uh, there's more. If we didn't get to your question, we're going to save it for the next one. Thanks for all the questions. Thanks for... Uh, choo-doo, choo-doo. And thanks for the beer today. That was Hell fun. Yeah. Thanks for the conversation. Oh. We're going to survive, people. See you in the next podcast. so nice just to like veg out and just like go into a different dimension and just shoot the shit.